Do they is Coke like a popular drug on Iceland? What's they, like the main Coke drug, like a popular that you would drug on Iceland? Iceland? Hey everybody, it's a, it's not a go to the for the season. We're live. And by the way, somehow hey, I have it's a, it's not a go to for the We're live. <laughs> What's the go to sandwich hey, for hey. Iceland? We started with chaos. Okay. Here's the thing. I can't figure out why I have two soths in there. One, like, look at his little eyes peeping in between. <laughs> Isn't that cool? But, you know, we'll fix that as the show goes on. So, hey, good day, everyone. <laughs> we have Multisoth. Uh -huh. By the way, Multisoth wasn't there until I rebooted x -Wing. So, it's like the Phantom. Okay. Yeah, it's a so the Phantom Soth. The I, Phantom I hadn't realized soft. how busy the, uh, the overlay was going to look. Um, it, it's a little it does busy. Kind of busy. Yeah, with a lot of people and shit like that. This is this is all your fault, Dirk. By the way, um, it definitely also, really is all Mac. Your you fault. you misspelled my name. God damn it! I didn't. Do it. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't worry, I misspelled I misspelled my name as well when I did mine. So you know, it's just it's, it comes with the territory, dude. <laughs> it, you it's, misspelled it's, your own right. name. All no, it just say. should be good, yeah, Dirk. Yeah. No, no, Not... Mac made the nameplate for me, so it's Mac's fault. Not Eric's um, fault for once. One time on the show, not my fault. This is awesome. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate this. It's documented uh, forever. Any um, and any audio issues though? Uh, we started when with Eric audio inevitably. Issues. We started with audio Eric issues. Eric inevitably mutes himself. It's gonna be his, Eric's fault. But yeah, the rest it of it. Be. Well, I started us with uh, multi sound chaos. Like it was a big argument. So lots of lots of. It's been exciting, ladies and gentlemen, pre-show. Very exciting. I, I think um I think mm. somebody uh you know one hour delivered over to Dirk some volume so he could calm down a little bit. Um Oh no, so I wish they had. had. <laughs> no, I'm I, my my blood pressure is is high and still rising. And in that spirit, I'm gonna open the show you with don't an get announcement. To open it. With, with, yeah. I get to open no. the show. It's no, my no, you, you we have to wait. You've already opened the show. Right. <laughs> Dirk, we have to wait 20 minutes. No, no, no. no we this, wait. That's the announcement. This is the announcement. Um, we are today uh, bypassing the Dawn rule. We have CSM member Arcia Elkin here with us to kind of riff on riff? what the fuck CCP are doing. Uh, have, have a kind of bit of conversation. But we are... We are um, postponing or suspending. bypassing, suspending. Thank you, Arendis. The dawn rule today in favor of raising our glasses to the end of the Eve Online we knew. I would like I would like to invite you all to join me in a toast to the Eve Online that we knew. It's dead, Jim. But it no. was a great ride. No, no, you, nobody pays attention to this show notes. I swear to God. Cheers. What if what if uh, you've already toasted that like five years ago? Do do we have to toast again? Yeah, toast do it again, Caleb. Yeah, you got okay. it. It's just it's and not, by the way, welcome to the show. Man. Your, yeah, your your to your particular toast is welcome to the club. Eric, it's not that we it's not that we don't pay attention to the show notes. It's that we don't care. I know. <laughs> That's the beauty of this group. I love it. So I hang out with all of you. You're fun. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you do show notes? Like no, you don't do show notes. No, Christ, it's gonna be like what the fuck? Okay, okay. The show notes of hey, hey, hey. the show have this been the is, same hey. for three fucking years now. This isn't the meta show. Okay, we don't it's have a big meetings, notepad file that you know, says talk. Yeah, we don't we don't have like you know I had a moment there, all right? Just just you know. No, that's that's only half of the show notes, RC. The other half says push to. Now the other half yeah. you have to buy for twenty four ninety four five on the uh, the push to talk store. Uh, but don't worry, it comes from other chatters now. Yeah, and it comes with expert systems for shit posting. Uh, your, oh. your, your 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 talk time is brought to you by uh, you know the the talk time from other members. So that's right. I, I don't <clears throat> I don't think that goons need um, expert systems for shit posting. What about the, think fight. of the new players? All right, don't think of the old okay, teams, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we sure as hell need expert systems for good posting. Uh, there's also a, a need for a spelling expert system and a grammar expert system. Hey, I'm and not responsible. Response not responsible. Well, we could probably sell that to CCP as well. Probably. 
CCP yeah. is Icelandic. They are literally still on runes, so I don't think you should uh, modernize that much, uh, Soth. I think it's way too much at, at once. <laughs> so, so, much you need to make no ship posts so new players can buy them from CPP. So, so yeah, the, the thing I wanted to open with, right? So, so this has always been my, my business philosophy just before I even had my own businesses and things. So it is, you know, I really believe that CCP has every single right in the world to, to manage and charge for this game in any way that they believe um, is the right thing for their company to do. Any company in the world has that implicit right, right? But consumers, on the other hand, also have the implicit right to, one, complain to the company, right? That, that's normal, right? You get a bad product from a company, you're going to call them up and complain or you're going to return it to them, right? Um, and uh, at the same time, you know, if a company does stupid things, you know, I mean, we've all seen New Coke, okay? That was fantastically received. I got the right to keep my fucking money in my fucking wallet. Right. And, and that yep. is, and so we do not use teleprompter, sure. Um, the, um, but, you know, I mean, that that really is, you know, CCP can do that. I I will say, in, in my mic is really low. Mike's not here, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm giggling about the teleprompter thing. Like, who in their right mind would teleprompt? What we the fuck? What like like who right? Write this shit? before the show. Yeah. What we well, say? Well, like, the shit so, yeah, I'll move, I'll move my mic a little more in front of me. For right. the teleprompter from the other. Uh, yeah. I love you, Sharab. Jesus Christ. So, 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 so understand, right, from a company perspective. But in, in this case in particular, where they were selling a product that, you know, they sell the game as pretty much everything in the game is made by the players, right? It's a real marketplace, blah, 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 blah. And they sit there and they take something off the marketplace that the players, certain players, are pouring their heart and soul into playing the game because it's part of how they play the game. OK, and it's part of what they spend in-game money for in order to gain profit. Right. It really doesn't matter whether this influenced the market or not, because I don't know. It's the clear, clear message that, you know, they just didn't give a shit. CCP did not give a shit that they might take a sale in-game from a customer. OK, and decided it was okay for them to monetarily do what a player fundamentally can't with that peak product in the game and sell it, it right? They you can't. know, for actual cash, yeah, for actual right. IRL yeah. cash. Yeah, and so, so there was a key word that Eric used there that I think we need to talk about a lot, mm -hmm. which is customer. Yes. Yeah. We're their fucking customers. I mean, sure, we're playing their game. We are players in that sense. But when we pay money for our subscription, when we pay money for your stupid... Well, actually, I hope nobody paid money for their stupid fucking retriever pack because it was a pile of dog shit. But when we pay money for anything that they sell, we are a customer. We are a user of their services. As Arendis put it in an article today, we are licensees to it, their product. It, it, it's the pure and utter tone deafness that they didn't give a shit that somebody in the game played by their rules to build something and sell it on the market. They, they were, I mean, this is just utter stupidity. I mean... I'm trying to figure out the mental no. capacity no. of the individuals no. who decided no, this, this was not, smart. This is not stupid, Eric. This was stupid six or seven steps ago. This oh. is fucking insulting. And and I think I think I would like to get like one thing off my chest because I have to like eat a hat for uh, both Dirk and Soth and maybe the rest of the room. I had hopes that Rattati would actually be able to lead a team that could fix the broken stuff in EVE Online. Oh. This is this is not, let, uh, let me finish. This is not really the thing that made me rage about EVE, but it has proven once and for all, Rattati is sadly completely incompetent and does not understand EVE Online. And the only way to say save eve as we know it is to get him out of the way send him to london get him to work on the new project whatever 
Seriously, he'll kill it in, this, in utero. I, I, I don't. I don't care about that. The point is, this man is maybe the worst fit for Eve Online because he clearly does not understand how it is supposed to work. And not listening to any of the player base and being arrogant to the point of stupidity is just sad. And I am saying, I'm sorry I'm getting personal, but this is utter failure. Now, it, now I uh, know it's two, bad. Two years, you didn't even fix a single thing. What you did instead was make it worse. Every single step you made worse. I don't know who you've been listening to, but it was incompetence above and beyond. And everything that people were telling you, you did the opposite. This is at a point of no return. I, I quit two or three years ago, as Renders pointed out, when I rage quit, because I still care about this game. I really want to come back and play it. But CCP keeps messing it up. And the ecosystem team has been the most incompetent team and, and developers I have ever seen in EVE Online. This is point of no return. If you want to save this, you have to really, really get serious. And the first thing is get rid of Rattati. I'm sorry. I don't like getting personal, but the way that he's been talking to players, the fact that he was also responsible for things that, yeah, people know what that thing is. He does not understand this game. I'm sorry. And if you want to help get us back as customers, Get rid of that team. Put no, people no, that actually yeah. fucking understand it. Put fucking Elise in there. He's got more knowledge about oh, economics. Don't. No, seriously, don't he does. Do that. No, he just, fucking no, does. Don't do that. After after last night's commentary, no, don't no, do that. But no. but seriously, now I know it's bad because even Caleb <laughs> is on the CCP rat fuck train now. Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't like I don't like getting personal, but he is incompetent. He does not understand the game. That is a fact. I I don't like to just shoot shit and 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 call people names, but when it comes to talent and knowledge about this game, he clearly doesn't have it. He he is trying to make Eve a completely different game. I I think the 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 fun fact is the guy that actually invented this game is not around anymore. He's now on Malta trying to do a a new project. I, I don't think that's going to ever happen, but the genius of the DNA of EVE Online has been lost along the way, and the ecosystem team basically nailed it. They didn't do anything ecosystem-based at all, on the contrary. I, I'm just, I'm just going to say, I, it, it, I agree with Horrendous, right? It is, but, it is insulting to the players to take something that they build and sell it Right. I, by the way, I don't. I want CCP to make lots of money. Uh, okay. So okay. again, I'm going to point out that I think we need to get really serious about this being a question of customers. Yeah, right. It's sorry. insulting that you would take something that your customers make with your product and then sell it back to them. <laughs> that's what's that's what's going on here. That they're, they're, they're taking the shit that we make, or, or they want to. They aren't. You haven't explained yet. that part. You haven't explained uh, oh, that part. Oh, I don't know if everybody's part? seen that part because it came yeah. out last night, right? No, so why no, don't you explain what it is that right, we're so, actually um, mad about? Let, let's let's let Arendus kind of cover this, I will, but I am going to drop it quote, in Twitch chat for you. I will quote Swift directly on this one. Economic impact and the integrity of the player economy are a top priority. We have limited this pack to one per account and are closely monitoring its effect on the player market. That one line's the, a lie, by the way. It is. One of the topics for FanFest is a new project that we're in the middle of developing that will transform these and future packs, a paradigm where packs of this type will be supplied by players, ensuring that any ship we offer to new players through sales will have origins from actual player work in New Eden, made for new players by veterans. So... This feature will not only supply each ship from the player base, but allow the community to influence which ships will be put in these packs. And this this you know, was you know said after... Like, so I'm going to some... just, just point this out. This doesn't end there. It hasn't ended with each step they've taken in the past. It doesn't end there. So and, and to this... summarize, for those of you who need it, basically what he's saying is in the future, instead of just poofing a ship into the space, they're going to take one from the market that somebody made and somehow 
move it to a pack. Maybe, I don't know, gonna there's going to be a flex to transfer. Uh, so and maybe. And that's gonna gonna seriously, 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 that's just going to be an e uh, uh, an Eve Echoes thing. It's exactly the same fucking thing. And, that, that's and, what they were trying to do in, with the insurance system in, in Eve Echoes. And that's just not what Eve Online is supposed to be like. The fact I that they're even thinking this. about this is just cancerous. It's improvement over what over conjuring them out of thin air. But ish. We, but the thing is, kicking me on, in the it, gut it is, is still, an improvement over kicking me in the ball. It, See, it is still like fucking the economy, yes. manufacturing inflation, and then shoving ships for real money into people's face. You know, I like, the, the other. So the, I, I need, then, and then you get into the question of, then you get into the question of this thing I am doing is generating is being sold for real money. Am I getting a cut, or am I working for free? So there's this. There's so the, the concerning, the concerning thing about that is we don't know quite how they go, how like CCP would reimburse us as players, right? You know, so they're, 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 they're from the market, from, you from know, the thing. Like, do we okay. do we get something from it? The concerning thing is we'll get some kind of like pseudo like no, currency, no, 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 which no. is basically you, you, like you, a, a cryptocurrency you, of some form. Well, Which Chris, will just be you could just see a so, number. You, you, could, you, could actually thing design is, this. you can design this to do what it is supposed to do. I, the I know that you can design it to do that. that they will do that up. because they already no, failed no, okay. doing yeah, yeah, it yeah, one at a right, time, guys. Let our CSM yeah. rep talk about this because, yeah. like, All right, thank what are CSM hearing? All right. So I think that what's. I'm not going to judge a system that they haven't given the details on, but like the thing that's really scary about um, that I really worry about when it comes to uh, the player ships being sold for real money is that I think of the, uh, that interview some time ago with Hilmar where he was talking about like NFTs and the game becoming paid to, a play to earn and basically becoming not a game. Uh, mm -hmm. The comments before where you were saying that, uh, Eve Online is is becoming is they're trying to make Eve Online a different game. And for those those of us that are very, very confused and upset about a lot of the changes that we see, it, it seems like they are literally trying to make Eve Online a different game. Uh and that's that's why those of us who like the game that that it's been for what, seven uh twenty almost twenty years at this point. What is it, nineteen? Nineteen years at this point? Um, obviously it's yeah, changed a lot in 19 years, but yeah. for those of us who like the game of EVE Online, uh, it's only reasonable that we get upset if you're trying to make it into a different game, especially one that is yeah. kind of like a, a pay to earn Ponzi scheme almost, uh, because let's, let's keep it real. In like the last, in the last 20 years, like all this monetization shit, like all around gaming has, has become completely absurd it's not just eve it's like hyper capitalist uh gaming companies doing what they can to make a mediocre game that is just good enough to get people to download it and then milk them for all they're worth and that's kind of become the norm in a lot of a lot of games and it's really really depressing for those of us that like playing it as a recreational hobby and 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 that ties in, I, I think, to something that I wish Arendus had included in his commentary and, and his kind of, like, relay of the, the CCP Swift post last night, um, which is the line that CCP here are worries about the continued escalation of this kind of sale and want to reassure us that their design will remain directed towards new players finding their footing in New Eden. What we are being told... At, in, in 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 the line before CCP say that they want to create a paradigm where things are made for new players by veterans, which is already happening by the general course of manufacturing in Eve. By the way, like new players aren't building capitals, veterans are building capitals. New players can get into those ships with skill injectors. So that was a bad monetization decision that we kind of like. Yeah. Accepted. Told was a bad one. We, we we told them it was a bad one, but we kind of ate our, our um we, we ate our gruel and were you know happy kind of okay with it. You um, ate dirt and you're happy to but, have dirt. But like 
they hear our worries about the continued escalation of this kind of sale and want to tell us that, hey, yeah, we, we, we know we're focused on the new players. What you're telling us at that point is yeah. that veterans need to eat shit. No, here's what, here's what they're telling like, you from a business perspective. Just like okay? not give you a think about the that. veterans because from a business perspective, Eric, yeah. the new players represent more easy money. Yes, and they so they represent gullibility. That's so what they represent. If you if you make a if you make a business decision not to care about your long term customers, right? Who, by the way, are probably the stickiest customers that you have, right? They're going to stay with the game until the bitter end. That's that's really what you have in your veteran players um, until it's just so unplayable that it's gone. And what they're doing is they're setting up a business process of getting new players because if they can get those new players to stay around X period of time and spend X amount of money on these new ships and these new packs and all this stuff. And then when they figure out, oh, this game kind of sucks beyond that because they don't give a shit about the rest of the game. I'm just going to leave. So they just have a churn. Okay. It's just like Amazon. Amazon has a very low retention rate across their whole company in any position. Okay. Very low. Okay. And, you know, in some of those positions, they're concerned that they've churned through so many people in the United States that they, they don't have any more to churn from. And eventually CCP will get there. Okay. With that sort of business strategy, it, it, it's one that we see. And by the way, I've, I've been dying to say this the entire show, right? So every time I see CCP, because I'm an American, I don't see CCP. I see, you know, China. Okay. So, uh, and I trust CCP, the company, and China, the company, and the country about the same right now. Okay. Well, I, I have not zero, too far into zero. The like, so yeah. I would embargo I, CCP games in a heartbeat. I don't if I have was any in worries about Eve pay to earn. Uh, causing taiwan to get invaded so like no 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 they're just gonna they're just gonna invade your life right and and by the way the wall street journal last week had a great article i linked it to the staff i don't know that if you seems... can all see it but you know because i buy the wall street journal um and uh that seems it was unlikely yeah and they um it was sometimes a good they, article they they do video articles on occasion right so it was excellent uh i will see if i can grab that link and put it for anybody who can watch it in the stream it is specifically about pay, pay to earn. It was Wall Street Journal did an article on it. Um, and it was talking about, you know, this guy in a game, who, a game that I have never heard and looks stupid as shit. But they get these NFT based trading cards, you know, just like any other trading card game. They play it online and then, you know, he sells them online when he gets them. He creates a pack and it's great and he sells it online, you know, and, and he was from Kansas. Okay, so that's BFE for those not in America. Most of Kansas is like chalk for soil. Okay, um, but and I he bet said, he's a rich motherfucker by now, isn't he? No, no. I mean, he he had a job where he's making about fifteen hundred U.S. dollars a month. That was his job, and through selling these, he was making about an additional fifteen hundred dollars per month. Okay, I don't know what he did for a job to only make fifteen hundred dollars per month. Because I guarantee he could, and he, and he he clearly had the capability. You know, he could have drove a delivery truck for Amazon and made more than that in a month, twice that, right? And I'm, um, I'm impressed that he was able to make fifteen hundred a month out of these. Uh, and he'd make out another, of this. And he, you know, pay to earn was great because you know he, you know, he was making more money, right? Well, guess what? Pay to earn isn't isn't going to be what it is. You know, it, you know, it's it's going to be the same as the. As the uh, you know the gold generation, you know organizations. That's what we'll call so, them. We'll call them organizations in the world. You're just going to have the same thing. If I want, like, if we wanted a pay to earn thing, we'd be playing a pay to earn thing. Like, I want a recreational video game, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, it, 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 you know, on the weekends, you know, when and if I play Eve, right? It's because I'm not doing something else recreational. Let me tell you. And, and I can add another is, two, three days of golf to my week. Really easy, guys. It, it's not hard. The thing, the thing most people forget about uh, play-to-earn games is that um, you can't just, you know, sign up and, and start making money in them. You mm -hmm. have to actually invest uh, a significant amount of money to be allowed to to make money with the game. Right? And effort. So and then, like, you, if people are... are paying to earn in eve 
and I like blow up their ship, are they going to sue me for like costing the money? Like, <laughs> and it's just like, honestly, if or if or let's make money it worse. From, yeah. Okay. Let's make it worse. In Eve, scamming's legal. What if I scam you out of it? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you have? Did I steal There's it? Really legal, did I con it? Am I a con man now? Legal There's an even more amazing aspect of this as well, which is the the packs that they were selling, right? The the, yeah. the retriever packs. Um, they they claim that you know, CCP claim the that these packs are for you know for new players. Um, what they what, what they seem to be implying is the fact that they that the the kind of kind of like the um, the behavior that they want to instill in new players is you know buy this pack you get the, you get everything that you need in order to fly this uh, retriever you get the retriever and you can go and you can go and make money um, so when that blows up what do they do they don't they haven't gotten the knowledge or the idea that they can go to the market and purchase a new one and put it together they have this in they, they they've developed this behavior that they need to go back to the site go and buy another one of these retriever packs to get a retriever and you know rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat right at what point do they kind of come up at what point do they come up with this thought that maybe what's happening with them always dying in these retrievers is that somebody from ccp knows that they purchased a pack and have gone and hunted them down and killed their ship. Yeah, I mean, just imagine if like it's just a pack that uh, that potentially players have built in the future as well. And it's... like, like, well, no, not not even that. But like, you know, the the new players will literally be like, I, I, I'm literally getting scammed by the company that makes this game. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm going to go all to all every single site by the company well, that yeah. makes I mean, the game. I, I want to answer chat, guys. I want to answer chat. So, Savas Darkin, right? No, you could not only buy it once. You could buy it multiple times. No, the, this yeah. pack, this pack, you could only buy once. You're sure? Uh, that was per account. That, per that account. was conf we we had reports of people buying it multiple times on the same account and just not getting the skill points horrendous. Yep. Oh, lovely. Yes. They, they fucked it up. Yep. Yeah, and they. Yeah. Then they didn't I'm even. Shocked. They, they, I'm they either, really shocked. They either didn't realize that they fucked it up in terms they of that limitation. Care. Or they didn't, care, they didn't care. But either way, CCP Swift lied to us last night when he said that the uh, the pack was only available one per account. So, so that I, wasn't the case. I mean, so dumbest question. So dumbest question. You're either under the sun. you're either incompetent or lying. Which dumbest, would you prefer? Dumbest question or under the sun. None of us or have both. ever created multiple brand new accounts to do anything in Eve. And if I wanted 10 of them, I'm just going to create 10 accounts. The whole one doesn't even freaking matter. I have never yeah. created brand new accounts just to do something in Eve. Never. never. I have created <laughs> brand new accounts to do something in Eve and fuck with people. <laughs> now everybody knows everybody, yeah, has, thing everybody had, you know, 100 character skill point farms, right? And so you have your yeah, skill that's, point where that's, oh, that's 100 thing. packs I can buy. I'm just no, one Eric, guy. Eric, that's the other thing. Okay? Like, so if you're doing a skill farm, right? Yeah. And I put this in the article, but if you're doing a skill farm, right? First off, that account needs to be Omega, right? And if you're making mm -hmm. enough money with the skill farm, all of this is coming from Plex. But all of that Plex, somebody else is, is paying CCP for. Right. So the accounts have to be Omega. You have to have multiple character training going on. You have to get skill extractors. Yeah. At what point do you, does anybody think CCP will not try to do the, oh yeah, and people object to the S to us selling SP, so we're gonna just you know, we're gonna do the same thing here and just use farmed SP from players, which means that when somebody buys skill points in a pack. Those skill points will be generating CCP money for the fourth time. Nothing like double dipping, quadruple, triple dipping, dipping. quadruple dip. Right? When you when you make money, you make money, right? And and I mean that's good design. That's good income design. I mean, from a company that's perspective, good income. no, that's, that's that's great income design. Right? It's, it's great. terrible. It's terrible game design. But if your it's customers don't realize design. it, it's awesome. Yes, which is, if, why if, it, if. which is why which is why Elisa's statement was so 
fucking insulting because it assumes right off the bat you people are too stupid to realize what we're doing. I get it. Which, which is hilarious considering that we were all on comms last night, or, or, or at least a good chunk of the channel was on comms last night when this thing dropped and had it figured out in about three fucking minutes. Yep. It, 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 it took us the time to read the th the post. No, 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 Dirk. Dirk and then Dirk, Dirk, think Dirk. about what the implications of the words he used were. And Dirk. just by the way, some of us do words pretty Dirk, regularly. You're overthinking this. You're, <laughs> over you're overthinking this, man. I, I just wonder. I mean, here, much... let me let me cast this into the proper light, okay? I mean, how much? Business the people, who, to these people, the people who consistently get it wrong about what the results of their changes will be have decided that the people who consistently get it right are too stupid to understand what they're saying. We're not the idiots here. <laughs> That's a very fair point, Horrendous. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't argue about that because... I mean, every they bad get it wrong they made. every goddamn time, and then <laughs> like, say, "You know what? We think you're even stupider than we are." Fuck they, that! They, 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 they were they they were fucking warned about all of this shit. The the CSM has been yelling. The players have been yelling. You know, if, if they didn't think that we were so worthless, like every time. A player posts something that I think is a good idea. I can't even call it a fucking good idea. Because it's... CCP have this mentality of, hey, a player said it. That means that we can't use it because that would dilute many... our IP or dilute how many... our agency. Or like, how we can't do it because they had them? the idea. How many times have we told them, if you guys want more money from the players, we want to give you more money. Give us alliance skins. Give us not even full skins, just the ability to overlay our alliance logo onto the existing ones. Little airfix models of a rifter I that mean, I can build and I'm, paint myself. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. There is there is only we can we can complain till we're blue in the face. There is there is one thing that will matter to CCP and their overlords, right? Income. Okay. If for some if for some reason income begins to dip, and if for some reason, okay, fan fest is an utter suckage fest of nobody coming, they'll get the message. Okay. Um I will I, I, I have never gone to fan fest. I will never go to FanFest because of how CCP has acted over the years. I'll never go. It's FanFest is going. FanFest this year is going to be like awkward as fuck. I mean, you guys yeah, walk around like outside whatever little small venue, right? Because they're not even using the same venue, right? They're not using the big cool place, right? They're going somewhere else. And there, uh, there is absolutely just walk no around way. with signs. Don't even go in. <laughs> that there's no way that FanFest this year. Is going to be a celebration of Eve Online. I mean, like they, they they had a chance. They'll be lucky if it's not just a riot. About about they, they had a chance like three months ago to kind of fix that and yeah. fix enough of Eve that people would be happy to go to Fast. Haven't, haven't they let that but in the in, in the last twenty hours or so? Is it twenty hours even to, since they uh, posted the thing? Eighteen hours. In the past 18 hours, I've seen multiple people start thinking that, you know, they're, they're still going to go to FanFest because they've paid for it and all. But they're not happy they're going to FanFest anymore. They're, they're not really, like, wanting to go. It, it, it's a holiday that they already fucking paid for. Can, and can, we, can we link the post? We can link the post again. Yeah. Um, there, we start a little, post, you know, guys. let's go CCP chant. Um, let's go CCP. Yeah, uh, CCP. <laughs> and, if they, and by the way, if CCP is too dumb to know what that to means in the United States, oh, God fucking help. Oh, um. What? I, I, I admit, I've, I've 
just kind of got a laugh here and ask a totally serious question. Oh, please. Um, please be very serious. Very serious. RC, are you quiet with that look on your face because you have very little to add here or because people are just going so fucking insane? Uh, <laughs> because you look... Column B. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one was column B? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> people right. are going insane. <laughs> She's, like, no, it, it, she's sitting there going, holy fuck, what did I get myself like, into if I bring come on this show? Oh my god. Like, I'm, I'm somebody who started before Incarna, and I hate monetization in, like, pretty much any game. Uh, pretty much any game, because it's ruined a lot of games that I like. And I'm just not, I'm just not like, a, a rager. I'm a make-jokes-at-the-expense-of-thing kind of person. <laughs> Actually, in retrospect, Incarna is, like, oh, I... I if I could choose between like the CCP that came up with Incarn the CCP to sell yeah the, the the debacle of selling monocles for, you know for sixty or seventy dollars versus this like oh my god give me so, the fucking monocles yes the but, is, but, but you know, that, that was, was that Omar's was the first plan step. all along right that was the first step like we'll you can't just jump straight to shoes the funny thing there is you know like the 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 greed is good release right that all talked about thousand dollar jeans and shit and one of the yeah. things we've been telling them is well yeah give us more fucking cosmetics give us maybe yeah. not a thousand dollar jeans yeah. but give us jeans we'll pay for them back well, in 2011 we all shot we all shot the statue in 2011 because we were angry about monocles and in 2022 11 years later we're like, give us the fucking monocles. Let's go. Well, yeah, and, and look at that in, in <laughs> yeah. retrospect. It wasn't the fact that there was a monocle. It was a seventy it, freaking dollar yes, monocle. Yes. We know Hilmar was the one who who, who set that price because when the original price came in, he raged about it being too low, right? But but, but when, like legit, you you put a bunch of apparel in, and like me and the other RP nerds are gonna buy like all of should, it. Yeah. <laughs> make them make them ask reasonably Delegate price. Zero if the lore team wrote this statement. Right? Can I <laughs> have can I have cat ears and a maid outfit? Let's go. Like no no no, no, no. we're just people. okay yes. okay number one need... we're going to skip the rest of that conversation. Okay. What no no, no we're not no 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 the, the cat ears people are requesting aren't for cat the characters. I mean, it's for the ships. Look. Look, it exactly, wasn't the cat exactly. ears. It was how the much, cat ears in a much, made outfit. Okay. How much would C how much money would CCP make if this is really what they're what they're what they're after? How much money would CCP make to put cat ears on ships? Most of us play <laughs> yes. zoom the fuck out so all we see is the little goddamn purple red. But we still buy the skins anyway. But we still buy the fucking skins. So we're not really going to be impacted by the cat ears. We're not going to have to see the cat ears if we don't want to. Except for when we're sitting we... on a station zoomed in, but sure. then we're really happy about it. Right. right. Exactly. So that, that's, and when that's we it. want the cat ears, look, cat ears. Yeah. And, and how let's... much fucking money could they make? Well, let's there's, a, like, there's a critical ridiculous. issue with that, how ridiculous. Hang on. How ridiculous <laughs> would the thrasher look? It would look like a fucking fish with cat ears. It, it'd be hilarious. But it'd be like, like, look at uh, yeah. So, the, what's what's the the remember, logistics frigate that the Galente have that looks literally like oh, a yeah. fish? Oh, it, yeah, it, yeah, imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. What is um? But like, there's a key issue there, which is that it requires development work, it and the art team okay, are okay. wonderful. Let's... The art team are great. I love the art team. Uh, they do fantastic work, but holy shit, CCP do not want to have people doing did, work. Did you just suggest a catfishing okay. skin? Did, did you literally just <laughs> yeah. suggest yes. a catfishing <laughs> skill? Yes. yes, we did. Okay. Okay. Under, okay. Uh, I, I, I was no, just going to make sure not that... Catfishing skin. Under, understand a catfish. Right? A catfishing fish. When you cat cat is what cat happens fishing. in Cheetah for okay. the, the skin, Let's... if you scam for it. Look, look at it from... it's, a, it's a skin you can use... You know, to RP as a catfish, all right? Yeah. Like, no. So remember however that. you want to deal. The, the, we, after we, that, the, the greatest after thing that, about the bitter vets can get a cougar skin for when they're dealing with newbies. There you go. So <laughs> remember, the, the great thing about developing software. You and, mean when and, they're and ERPing skins, with newbies? Like, I didn't say how they were dealing with newbies. So the great thing <laughs> about development and and software and skins and things of that nature, right? 
it's a develop once, sell many times, right? It's not like you you have to pay for more pixels if you sell it a hundred times, right? <laughs> this is this is a pure profit development effort when you're talking about skins. This is the easiest way to give people what they want and make money in the game, right? It is yep. it is literally it is literally NFTs without the non fungible bit. <laughs> I know, I know. And the great okay. thing about that is because it's non-fungible, you can just keep on going at it. Like you don't. And really, it even it even is non-fungible when you consider that you have to activate it to use it, and then it's it's done. Right, then I it's mean, locked to you, right? I mean, yeah. Bang! I mean, there we go. I mean, again, Hilmar, Hilmar can tell himself that he's put NFTs in Eve. We won't even tell him. We we won't tell him he's he's being stupid. He can feel all important and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, they're, I guess, I guess, um, and I understand they're pushed toward new players, right? They, they want to make the game easier for new players to get in, right? But that, that really should involve a very serious, they'd say, oh, we have this grand plan. We've been planning it for so long and you're going to love it when you hear it. Well, guess what? We, 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 can we, I, we don't need. Can help. I ask something? Need, let me, let me finish, Caleb, right? What CCP should truly, truly, truly be doing if they want to improve the new player experience, they should be working with the CSM. They've all got NDAs, right? Really use them, use their experience, get their input. And I get some of the solutions might cross some lines we don't want them to cross. But if it makes sense from a business perspective and you can get buy-in from the CSM, and then you can trial balloon float it before you put it out there with the with the player base with the support of the CSM because by the way it was everybody's idea, right? Um, then you can move something forward and change something. There are things in my mind which I'm not going to say that we could do for new players, uh, it, but CCPS actually be able to identify who a new player is um, that we might bring them along because new players are sitting there looking like these veterans have been playing for 20 years. And it took them five years to get into a freaking Titan, and I will never play this game for five years and get there. Right? Okay, okay. I just, I, I just need, I need before, to address the elephant before, in the room, before, right? Before because everyone is saying, no, no, do. seriously, no, I have to get but, this out okay, because you have to promise, answer me this. I promise. You Why do we keep? Okay. I would like everybody to understand just how deeply and horribly this has wounded Caleb. Eric asked to talk, and Caleb let him. No, no, no. It, it, it's fine. I just really, I have a, a question, yes, and this is turn. something that I have talked with Aria about a lot. The whole point of Our why story. CCP is killing no, their Aria. US, why are they killing their, their 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 USP? And and you guys keep talking about making it easier for the new players. Well, when the fucking learning cliff was the biggest meme in Eve Online, Eve kept growing. How about we stop? this NPE bullshit and trying to plow new players in and dumbing things down to make it easier for them. Because clearly the ones that we are attracting by doing this are not staying. Wait, There's something wait. fundamentally wrong about trying to kill the learning cliff because the learning cliff was actually an achievement. It was a mm -hmm. challenge. The people that came came because they wanted to see if they could survive that challenge. And that gave them resilience already from the get go. I mean, now it's just idiots coming in, not sticking around. And CCP is now trying to monetize on them as early as possible to basically make a buck. This is wrong. This is killing the fucking fundamental of the game. Wait, 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 wait. Can I say something? Did, did the guy who argued for hand holding in games literally just do a 180 <laughs> and argue for the other? No, 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 no. I never said. I, no, that's not what I said. I, I said that there should be the option for new players to be casual in Eve Online if they want to, but the learning cliff needs to be there. Stop trying to help people. The people that are supposed to help new players is you and me, not CCP. How about CCP get the fuck out of the new player experience and give us the I'll, actual tools to actually help I'll, new players? I'll answer that for you, Caleb, from a business perspective, right? I'm going to play devil's advocate, right? Um, the, the biggest obstacle that they see is the cost of gaining new market share, new players, new customers, right? The cost of that new customer. Um, and you have to also recognize potentially 
right? That the marketplace has changed and the customer that is new may be different than the customer that is old, which is why I said, you work with your CSM, you, you help them understand what your perspective is, CCP. I know, Eric, sure? we've talked about this since yeah. this show started. And seriously, yeah. there is nothing that proves this argument. We have, we have seen this. I have not seen the proof. The, it, it's, it's arguing from, from some tradition and, and mythical fucking argument. This is just not fact. The, the, the player base is not changing. They do not hate grind. They do not hate tedium. They do not hate pay to win. All of these things that the players keep saying has been proven again and again. It's a lie. If you look at the games that have been launched recently, New World, uh, Lost Ark, uh, what's that one that Soth loves that basically has no difficulty setting, so it's basically just f get good or fuck you. Right. So Elden, Elden, Elden Ring is the best example of seriously, this because seriously. Elden Ring is so, so, a really so well done game. Can we stop and with this, really this bad arguing, this fucking dumbing shit down, making it easier and easier? And hell, I get fucking puned in FPSs by 13-year-olds. We do not need to dumb games down. Stop it. Stop trying to help. You're not helping. You're killing the fucking game. So, hey, uh, go ahead, Mars. I was going to say, the, like, uh, the key to retention is the same as, as it's been for forever, uh, getting people into a good player group. Um, I, w I would have never survived if I didn't get in the good player groups myself. Um, I almost didn't survive, <laughs> right? But uh, a lot of what you get now is people who will come in new and they'll, they'll spend money and they'll leave. And the idea is that they get money before the people leave now. And I just fucking hate capitalism <laughs> because it's kind of pushed uh the company to take the easy way instead of well to, to I, I, I wouldn't argue that it's capitalism that does that it's it's feel, something uh, else but yes that's that's another disagreement but but <laughs> so i am i am a, I'm a pure market second. capitalist right so i love it but it, it, i don't love what cap. ccp is doing right i wanted to come back around on <laughs> on this elden ring kind of thing because it is Can a I really good example to chat? i need to defend myself to chat i am no, not just against, it, i'm not against difficult games it pisses me off when there is when when there is no option to make it less difficult but the point is games need to have difficulty setting that matches the player base and eve online as a pvp game was supposed to be the hardest thing around and it used to be now they're just trying to make it as as easy mode and as dumb as possible. And this started with fucking abundance and it's just been going downhill oh, ever since. All right, hold it, hold it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take issue with, with that, Caleb. As a PvP game, Eve has never been the hardest thing around. Okay. Most punishing, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm 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 just gonna I'm just gonna have to disagree there. Have you ever have you ever heard of anybody getting a single PvP kill in Kerbals? No, you haven't. <laughs> it's that, very difficult, that is though. a challenge. That that sounds um, like a challenge. I'm but, sure but, someone out there will figure out how to do that now, horrendous. It might be possible on Kerbal too the, when it comes it, out. It, 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 uh, if it too. comes out. Um, but like it, in all in all seriousness, um, th this whole thing. Uh, Arcia was talking there. Uh, you know what? I've lost the train of thought. Was you guys were arguing? Fuck. Oh but, yeah, course, you love sorry. that senior moment. Good job, everybody. Mm. We've derailed Dirk. McCloud yeah. was on. Uh, McCloud was an achievement, on achievement. hard games. No, no, oh, it, was, it, it wasn't even anything to do with the hard games thing. Um, was it about capitalism? No, it wasn't about capitalism either. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, they, it, it's gone. Just carry as on. As, as far as the whole capitalism issue goes, like I. I you know, looking at some of the people in the chat and, and hearing Eric's response to the I hate capitalism, which I believe me, I'm sure that RC does not believe that capitalism yes, is, is it was the new player thing. One hundred percent evil. I, I, I've uh, refound my channel. Shut the fuck up, I'm talking now. <laughs> well, no, 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 like we, this is this is a feature the short, of the show. I'm you blew it. <laughs> it's the short-term focus of corporate capitalism that has to maximize profits 
for the shareholders in the short term rather than looking at the long-term health of the environment of it. Let's keep in mind that Mr. Fucking Capitalism himself, Henry Ford, advocated keeping profits low it, so, it's, you it's, keep, so you could keep prices low. Oh, and on, he raised the, and he raised people's the, salary so they so could you, so they right. could actually so afford, afford the product. Buy the product. So yeah. you, you want to you want to broaden your customer base, not go vertical and just suck as much money out of a limited pool as you can. Well, on on the the topic of capitalism, um, absolutely, uh, you you need to have right. Um, the the issue a, there is a million dollars a year over five like years. It is still it is better than five million in a single year because it's sustainable well and you i want and I will, to make sure I, that you continue to make money is I, the the kind of thing big thing around capitalism but and no, i think it's I, important I to point out that Arendis's point um, of of exit strategy capitalism is really not real capitalism it's pseudo capitalism because you're not getting in to compete you're getting in to bail out and just sell your shit and go back to you and, to and, what you were doing that's not pig. capitalism shoot pigs that, i'm not saying profits it. are obscene that, yeah. i'm saying that that short that that emphasizing short-term profits rather than long-term return is the problem and that's what goes on at most companies these days yeah Everything because, about because you're only quarter. as good as your last quarter in corporate right today, exactly right? And, and that the, is the, that focus used that, to be that's annual, disgusting. and now it's, yeah. it's quarterly, it, right? And soon it will be weekly. So well, soon it will be monthly, and then in Hourly. the long term, it will be weekly. Uh, but like, how my, do we do the, the, this minute? The You're line of the line of thought that I was going to make <laughs> was uh, Arcee's comment about new players and how, as a new player, she nearly didn't make it because, you know. It, it's one of those you things where you, you didn't find you, a group. You have to find a player group to do this, right? I, I like failed multiple times to get into Eve, and yeah. then I was I've just done stubborn. It, I've done it a few times. I, I was just stubborn, and I I tried again, and I just subbed, and I I kept going, and I eventually found people. Right. The the thing that really gets me about that statement is that CCP know this. They've done their own fucking analysis on this. Uh, the the friendship machine that Hilmar has been talking about for three fucking years was spawned from research that CCP Ghost made, uh, did. Uh, he did the research and then made a presentation in Easterdam in 2019. And uh, I, I don't know if Soth was there, um, but Caleb, I'm, I, I think you were there for, for that presentation. Oh yeah, I've uh, seen all the ghost stuff, go, both the resilience maker and the friendship machine and all of this yeah, stuff. And, and, I, and I am wondering where did he go? Because he was actually right. CCP have done this and they know this. Somewhere in that company is somebody who understands why the players do what the fuck they do. And they are not listening. And that's the, that's the main fuck, problem, right? Because uh, this Hilmar, is why I, this is why I said that they're not fucking listening to the guys why, in their own company. Never that's why I place. said the USP is being dropped because that was exactly an analysis of the USP of Eve Online. What is it that makes us play this game decades and not? even remotely considering quitting and i know that everyone and their mother keeps saying uh, it's the it, it's the sunken cost fallacy but that's just not mm. true it is really not a sunken cost fallacy because i am not playing this game because of my connection to my stuff or the money i've paid i, pay, yeah, nobody, I play the nobody... game if anything, it's because of the connections that's been created. It's the social aspects. It's the groups. It's the organizations. It's the, it's the exactly. feeling of, of of playing a game where it's always uncertain who I'm going to be stabbed in the back by, who is going to come and save me. That whole social cohesion shit, that's completely unique to EVE Online. I know someone said, well, I, I play social in World of Warcraft. It's not the same thing. It is not even remotely the same thing. And this is what CCP completely seem to have failed to understand. There is nothing out there that compares 
to EVE Online. Nothing. Nothing in the MMO genre, nothing in any games at all. Every, every single time Soth and McLeod and myself start trying out new MMOs, these games are not even a little bit like EVE. They're MMOs, sure. They're multiplayer, sure. We're playing them with friends, yes, of course. But they do not have 19 plus years of histor uh, historic fucking events created by players with so, meaning, with, I, with relationship stuff, uh, with I mean, organizations I do... of 500 people and more. All of this stuff does not exist outside of you. Come and on. I do need that's, to, I do need to go on something very specific about what you just came, what you just said there. And it's it's down to you know what we were discussing before with the fact that like it seems as though CCP wants to change the game and re and make the game something completely different to what we all know CCP uh, Eve Online to be. The issue there is the fact that like we know that this game is sustainable if you do it the right way. It sustained itself for nineteen fucking years. Like, this new model, this new idea, this new design that CCP may, may well be sort of, like, you know, going towards or moving towards. Like, th there's, no, there's, there's no proven kind of uh, uh, example out there to show that, that, that this design doesn't just burn out in six months. Yeah. So, so uh, go ahead, RC. I was going to say, the fact that there is nothing like EVE Online is kind of one of the biggest reasons why I think that stuff like this happens because there's there's really not nothing that the people who want specifically the stuff Eve Online offers have to go besides Eve Online. Right. And when when there's like not really direct competition, like they don't necessarily have to do the things that we we want. <laughs> Right. Well, it, it's a difficult sell, right? And and it's it's a slow sell. You can't necessarily sell this type of game to um, someone that's looking for um, short-term uh, entertainment or something like what they're used to. This is a completely unique product, and you don't get hooked initially. Most players, they kind of need to try it two times, three times, maybe even more before they figure out what it is that makes it special. And it's usually when they affiliate themselves with other players and figure out how to socialize in gaming, which is why one of the jokes about EVE Online is that every single time new internet social connection technology has been launched, the first groups to actually test this stuff out has always been the EVE crowd. Every single time, we were some of the first to actually adopt to to all the shenanigans and and the voice comms and and we keep pushing the software developers to make something that can do even more for us because when 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 the Imperium needs a voice comm, it needs to be able to support a thousand people, right? That's that's just completely thousand, unheard of uh, or, or more but but again how many how many places in the corporate world do you think anyone needs a voice over ip that can support a thousand people like, i can't we, we, think we were, of, of a meeting that that a little would more need than that. a thousand but okay you, we, we, you, we, right? were, we were talking <laughs> about um some 3k people for m2 round one yeah so so, um, so here's it, it, it's it's a lot Here's, we here's, regularly hit 2,000 for the yeah. fireside. So. Here's, um, here's what we don't have in this conversation, right? You don't really know what CCP's business plan is, right? And, in, and until you sit down and actually ask them in a serious, serious interview, which, by the way, Dilmar, I'm happy to have with you in a nice, calm voice, but you're going to get questions that I'm not giving it to you in advance, okay? Um, you know, what, is, what does CCP want to do? You know, if we look at it, we can kind of read the tea leaves. It looks like perhaps it wants to fundamentally change the game. and, and They have well, fundamentally well, changed well, the on, game. And they want to fundamentally change it because they have to have a reason. It's just not because they want to screw you know, customers over. They, they probably have a reason. Um, and the only real reason is if there's a change in the marketplace of, of people coming in, right? Or well, a change in how they believe that they can... But Eric, you, from the customer, but Eric, you, right? Eric, you have the reason. As a yeah. long-term investment, right? If you think about it, Eve Online um, has been fairly good at, at keeping their return of investment fairly stable, but it has been slumping 
ever so slightly over time, right? And recently, it's actually taken a few um, well. bigger, bigger hits, right? So think of this as a bond. If this was a bond, yes, it's a safe investment. Yes, you get your return on your investment fairly um, securely. But if it keeps just ticking down ever so slightly on your interest rate re uh, returns, this is not a good investment anymore. And CCP has been struggling over the past, I would say, almost eight to 10 years to try to get it back into something that is healthy growth, even if it's just a little healthy growth and they can't do it. And it's, in my opinion, because they're doing the exact opposite of what they need to do. Stop killing your USP. Your USP is what is making you money because that is what keeps people, as you guys said, sticky customers, customers that can never go away because there is nothing out there. This is like someone getting addicted to Fugu and you have to go to that fucking shop because no one else is dumb enough to try and to, to and create a restaurant that only sells fugu. Well, so there, there, there is another. There's a, there's a sort of a, a, a side of this from a business standpoint that, like, you know, also you guys need to take into account, and also CCP needs to understand is game design, game development. It is not a, you know, like a, a, a biz, like a, a regular business venture. It is a creative industry. And a creative industry is, you know, inherently quite unstable when it comes to the financial, like, you know, when it comes to financials, right? You know, you generally, you create a product, you sell that product, and, you know, you hope that because, you know, you've done a good job of doing that, of uh, creating that product, that it sells well. Like, a great example of this is Elden Ring. They made an extremely good product, you know, in a, in a very creative way very technic technically very well but also extremely creatively it ticks a lot of people's boxes you know and because of that they've sold it's it's you know it's had high praise and it's gone on to sell really really well but most of all um a lot of a lot of the time when you have like business like companies that have come into the creative space to sell a pro to sell a game or to sell a, a you know a game as a as a business venture, you know, first and foremost, before an, act an actual creative entity, like, or, or a creative, or like a, a, a creative product, like, it's, it's just not worked out well at all. Like, honestly, you look so, at EA. As, as a very serious <laughs> investor, right? In the last 10 years, I would not have invested in EVE Online had they been traded on the market. Okay, just just looking how they operate, they do, they don't instill confidence as as people who actually know how to run a company. Now they have shown signs of decent profitability, but you don't actually know where that profitability is coming from. It's 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 hidden deep enough that you don't actually we anybody uh, looking at this don't really know where the income is coming from. Right, you don't know their subscription income versus their you know selling stupid things on their market income versus anything else in the game. You don't, we don't know how it's trending, right? These are the things that a, that a uh, business analyst would really look at uh, when, they, when they look at what the value of a company, right? We don't, we don't see that because they're not publicly traded as an individual company. Their stuff can be kind of hidden, right? In, in the current things that they do. The only thing that is gonna matter in the realm of CCP is going to be dropping income and I guarantee you, if they drop an income significantly, they're just going to be cut loose or gotten rid of. There will be no turnaround for this company. There will be no epiphany that their customers are suddenly important. They have made the business decision that acquiring new people is cheaper than maintaining old people and they can be more profitable. So they've determined that a new player of X period of time is of a I particular think, value and, and older and they've told us less. this yeah and they, since they, you're, they, since they've since told us this they, they 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 couched that particular decision that eric was just talking about in language that we've already talked about on the show but i want to reiterate um this particular pack that we were all annoyed about for more than a week with ccp radio silent um then ended with a single post on the forums in a current thread in in a, in a thread that responded to the csm's open letter instead of it being its own post 
or a dev blog or anything like that. They went to a pre-existing thread to try and calm people down. Okay, before before you and change the subject, they, uh, can they, I they, just they, can I just address something? I'm that, not that, changing the topic. I'm yes, just you kind are. Of like giving some context, which is that in terms of the business aspect of them determining that new players are now more valuable than, to them than the veteran players. They told us that last night when they said that they hear our worries, but they want to reassure us that their design will remain directed towards new players finding their footing. They told us that we are not as valuable to them anymore. They don't want to hear from us anymore. They're not interested in our opinions. And Arendus went on a rant earlier on in the show about how every single time they've ignored the players, they fucked it up. Well, that's their track. But they're right? still here CCP, telling us CCP's that, accidental... you know, we're not the people that they want to hear from. Yeah, CCP, Eve Online was CCP's accidental success. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, when you look at things that... that they've planned since day one, they're not really, they don't have a track record as a company of making the right decisions, right? Which is why in the beginning I, I said, the, the best thing that CCP can do from a from a fundamental business standpoint is leverage the CSM. Trust them that they are actually going to help you because every single person on that CSM, Garcia, you can tell me if I'm wrong, okay? But every single person on that CSM, just for you, not for everybody, I want to ask you this thing. Once more new players. Well, and, and, and that's true, but but, but, but that's by the way, but that's not necessarily that's not necessarily the whole truth, right? Because this no. is like doing screenings of movies me, and, me, and 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 taste testing of food. That does not you don't you don't It'll necessarily get it. Please, He's not please, actually letting Eric talk. Yeah, please let me finish. <laughs> right, everybody wants new players injected in the game because we want more people in space to either blow up or be friends but, with. Okay, but that doesn't that mean that it's the true. Legacy. That is the that is the time. Remember when we all said the Sob system sucks, but the game was growing like a mother. Okay, and then they started doing all this freaky stuff, and CCP was but but it had nothing players. to do. It had nothing to do with the players. It was not the players' vision. It was not the player feedback that created the growth in the early days of Eve Online. It was the fact that CCP had a fucking idea. They they were no. they were selling us Again. a vision, uh, an actual fucking product with <laughs> growth and potential. Just yes, just they fucking go, did. I was there. Go. Come on, so was I. Okay. Um, well, just, it doesn't sound like it because we we the CSM back then was not very competent. It was not very good at helping CCP at all. The right? the yes, they fucking did. did. No, the CSM point. came into existence after. It wasn't called a CSM, but it was it was functionally okay. like yeah. it. Okay. The, the CSM came in in 2006. Caleb should know because three, he was on they, it. They had three. Caleb. Well, that, I was on the two. I was facts. So. I was on the two first fucking handpicked CSMs before it became a democratic elected body. Right, right. So you weren't on the yeah. CSM. You were on a. It was called the pick. CSM yeah. since the fucking beginning. Stop teaching me fucking Eve Online. I've been here since day one. Okay, I was so on Caleb, the. I'll fucking I was teach on the second and third. If we're gonna argue about it and talk over each other. Uh, I'll just goodness, fucking mute you because I'm tired Lord. of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Like... So when you look at the beginning, CCP was just growing, and you and you can clearly see this on in the status monitor and Eve Online, right? You had crazy growth. You even had CCP fucking things up then, making mistakes. You had growth. Then you had a point where CCP decided they were going to try and guide the players. You know, and, and a key point was when they started. You know, specifically, clearly, internally hating. People from Goon Swarm, okay? I was there. I was in the conversations. I heard about it. I was denied things from CCP. You know, all kinds of things. Once they started on that, we know better than our, than our customer. That's when you have a consistent downward trend, okay? From around 2014 on. They've never recovered. And they keep doubling down on they and know that's better literally than their customer. That's literally because they got fucking squeamish and stopped actually having any trust in their players and in their own vision. It's And it was actually the player protest that made them squeamish and incapable of 
having an actual plan. The closest you got was actually Seagull's era when she tried to turn it around, Mm -hmm. but it never, Uh, ever recovered. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The player protest did not make them incapable of having an actual plan. The but it did protest. because the players no, demanded that you dropped all shut of them. Shut up! Shut up a second, and let me and let me make the statement here. All right, the player protests may have alarmed them, and the player protests may have made them rethink what they were doing, or may have prompted them to rethink what they were what they were doing. But the we cannot have an actual plan or vision. That response to the player protests is entirely their making. The players did not stand up and say, you cannot have a plan. That is not what happened. The players said, this thing you're doing is shit. Stop it. CCP yeah, then it, it, advocated then. their responsibility as developers to have a long-term goddamn plan. Hey, I have and a- communicate it. I have a question. I don't remember what what question I asked Garcia, but I did. And you're asking me about new players. And then I had to the yell PCSM. at Caleb. Yeah, what? yeah, go ahead. So, uh, I mean, you guys want new players in the game, and you want to. Work I think with CCP that everybody who cares about the game, and you have to, I think you have to care about the game to to want to be a CSM because it it's 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 a job, <laughs> but. Um, I think everybody who cares about the game wants new players uh, because we enjoy like we enjoy the game. Like I still have mm-hmm. fun playing the game. I I wouldn't be on this show if I didn't. I would. I I mean I'd make a good Final Fantasy VTuber. Let, let's be real, right? But I I, I like Eve Online and <laughs> I still enjoy it and I, I want to keep enjoying it and that's why I get upset yeah. about things like like monetization. It, and that and is I why, want new players. Yeah, and that is why. So. We see CCP continuing to make the wrong steps from a business perspective, right? As we see it, they may not see it that way. They may be getting exactly what they want, folks. But if they truly want new players and they don't want to piss off old players like they just did, they really should work with Arcia and the rest of the CSM to develop that plan. They don't have a plan. There's no freaking roadmap. Remember, they have promised us how many times? We'll show you the roadmap. Has anybody seen the roadmap? So I feel like the reason why there might not be a plan is because uh, of what we talked about earlier, where every quarter has to do better than the last one or else it's failure because they don't really have time to sit back and think of the long term if they're obsessing over every single quarter being better than the last because they're scared of uh, uh, Pearl Abyss West wooding them like EA did when mm-hmm. Earth and Beyond was dipping. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's possible. But at the same time, right, when you're looking at that from a business perspective, anybody in business, be it at large corporate level or small business, right, I've operated all those levels. Um, you know, you have your long-term plans, which are in place, and they take longer to deliver. And at the same time, you have your short-term plans that are, that are running, you know, together in parallel with them. And, uh, you know, short-term plans to boost revenue are very much like marketing campaigns, you know, things to get new players in, things. Your long-term plans are your development to get a new player more sticky, right? That's a long-term effort. That's what they should be working with the CSM on. Now, if you want to, you know, short-term plans for your quarterly revenue are things like new cool skins, right? New, new, new cool things that we can sell you that, that you want. Right, player base is broadcasting to me. I will pay. Right, and when you have a, a customer base saying, "Please sell me something," my God, you don't even have to market that stuff. Right, that that here, can, are, the, here are the things I am begging you to sell me. Yeah, right, and and I get that they can't now. Now one of their challenges there. Let's be realistic, right? There are eight trillion alliances in Eve Online. Some of them have two people in them. Right. You know, you may have to be a certain size to get skins made for your alliance or something like that. They, they can put rules around this, right? Um, at the same time, if you start seeing 
short, mid, and long-term gains being worked for, you report on them, and you actually stick to that plan. That's the other thing. CCP never sticks to a plan, do they? They're like the ADD company, right? And nothing against people with ADD, okay? Because we have some in our family. So, you know, it's not like that. But they see well, that next shiny thing, and they run, and they forget all about the long-term plan. Well, it's because they, they also act too soon quite often, right? They 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 don't really do the proper preparation and, and they have stumbled so many times, even though they have created some really, really good products, but they don't double down. And again, they start getting hoodwinked by competitors and, and, and think that they are something else. They you might call it ADD, but it, it's actually worse than that. It's really immaturity. It's the fact that as a company, they never really matured into the scale that they needed to be of the size that they were about to grow into, right? So, and, and, and when it comes to the whole business point of view, PA is also struggling. It's not just EVE Online that's suffering a bit. It's actually their other titles too. And they have some ugly liabilities now. I think CCP is very likely to be sold off again because otherwise there might actually be a fucking bankruptcy on the horizon. Well, not necessarily bankruptcy, but right, it, you know, if PA is looking at this as as an investment that they can turn a profit in, right, and, and very many companies do that with smaller divisions, right? Um, you know, are they, is this an artificial pump up the revenue so that the revenue looks good so they get a higher price on the market? I really don't think that's going to happen. I don't think the... I don't think the market for M and A acquisitions in the in the gaming field is going to be that great over the next nine to twelve months. But you know, I could be wrong. But I, but I wouldn't see that happening in a, in a large scale. I don't really think anybody wants to buy online. Okay? I think there is really potential buyers out there. Anyone that is really? trying to get into yeah, anyone that's trying to get into the meta, anyone that's trying to do a long term investment of command economies. So things like Facebook and Microsoft and stuff like that, for them, buying CCP and using them for what they can actually supply, which is information and data on behavior of big groups in big organizations. This is exactly the type of stuff you want for the future of gaming command economy. So when you're basically vaulting your player base inside a, a, a brand or inside a unit, it, it's basically back to Unifect, right? When, when he talked about brand unification, this is the type of data that CCP's got. This is the type of information that could, they could actually share with someone like Microsoft or Facebook or other game companies that want to figure out how to do this on a big, big scale. Amazon, for that case, could actually make a fuck ton of money if they bought CCP. Okay, and I'm they gonna, can get them for cheap right now. I'm going to tell the vault there is absolutely zero chance Microsoft will buy this game. This is a niche game. This isn't a game that in gaming circles is a game of games. Game of games type games get sold um, at premiums and, and really get celebrated and upgraded. Nobody looks at EVE, nobody in the marketplace, I guarantee you, looks at EVE Online as, as a gem in the industry. Um, well, I think, I no think way. it's very, not, not it's very like, th th there's so much cash in, in those groups. Buying yeah. CCP for 250, 300 million right now is actually a bargain. And it would make PA a profit that they need because they're struggling. So I would not yeah. be surprised if someone like Microsoft or Amazon actually just doubles down and buys them. And when you think about it, many of the mistakes that someone like Amazon has been doing when it comes to actually games and I mean, game launches, with, they could use CCP's experience. With PA struggling, I feel like CCP is a bigger part of their profits than it was in the past. So can they really afford to sell them? Well, yeah, yes, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a secondary, uh, it's almost like a sister company uh, pro, uh, product. And, and I think it would be wise to sell that off as one of the first things, because if they want to go in their own direction and they have new products themselves, then selling off something that is like vestigial is there's actually two, a good two idea. There's schools of business thought on that and when you pare down when you're in trouble, right? Selling your golden eggs is one of them because they give you the chance to reorg everything else or holding on to them and selling off other stuff. The, the problem is only your golden eggs can be sold. I don't really see CCP in the industry ever be look looked at as a golden egg. I think it's looked at a long-term pariah. I mean, look at it. I mean, how many corporations can you say, hey, 
I saw the wiener of the CEO while he was walking around live on video, right? Well, we could say that about CCP games, right? How many times has, you know, you know, every time that the CEO has injected his bright ideas into the game that they're some of the worst decisions the company has ever made, right? Yeah, that's, that's that company, fine. We, no. But we, we, I know we, we disagree on this massively. I think CCP is still a diamond in the rough. I think it can actually be turned to profitability. Uh, okay, right, right. But so, well, I, I think, think the rule... No, no, whoa, whoa. I, you, you've, I, just I, made a ver you've just made a statement that I have to, like, really fucking call the fuck out. You're still talking about CCP as a diamond in the rough. We're 19 fucking years in of a live game. We're 22, 23 years into CCP being a company. When the fuck are they going to stop being in the rough? When they get on the green. Duh. When they get on the green, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, when, I understood when, that reference. Yeah. After, um... <laughs> how, how the fuck do you hey, say that? Are, still are a diamond in the rough that after this I am many not a golfer. I can make my decision. I've played Mario Golf. All right. Mario Golf. <laughs> the, um... When, when you think of a company that is as old as CCP, right? They shouldn't make some of the mistakes that they make. It, it, it is... CCP is very much what I consider a very young company. And, and I consider it young because they don't actually keep anybody around who's an adult in the room. Even Hilmar isn't an adult in the room, I don't think. The 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 the, the talent that uh, CCP has had uh, in order to make this game successful and 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 you know basically keep it running, uh, you know at least somewhat competently for 19 years. Most of that has just is gone from the company. Like, um, I mean. That's the thing. The, the the issue with the, you know, being able to sort of value CCP as a company and EVE Online as a product is really more along the lines of the data that they have on players' activities over, like, 19 years. Like, I don't see... Um, I don't see They're how CCP can, it. like, market themselves or, or, I, I, I or, or even call a bit like I looking at it, like, they, they, they are still. Well, yeah, I, know, I know, I know, and we've heard, we've heard how you feel about that. But Eric, kind of Eric pointed it out. Eric pointed it out too when he called it a young company, and I said the same thing. It, it, they never evolved into a proper mature company, and they never figured out how to double down and actually make bank on the unique selling point that they have, because no one out there has done anything remotely like what CCP has done. But CCP, it, it, it's the whole thing of. In, instead of instead of doubling down of, on all of, all of the things that someone like Ghost was talking about, and back in the day when actually fucking Financial Times wrote about this game, instead they went the Rotati way. It's like, this is just the opposite of what you want to do if you want to make this game actually worth something and make the brand worth something to the outside world. Because if you have something that no one else has, that's valuable. If you're trying to fucking start a Xerox copy and just do what everyone else out there and make EVE Online a fucking Fortnite 2.0, you're not going to make any fucking money. There's no money in that. Everyone and their mother can do that shit. And Amazon can just pump them out in uh, oh, hand over fist forever. Speaking of EVE Online Fortnite, do you want to plug the two battle royals that are happening today? Well, yeah, the, one of the battle royales is going to be a, a battleship brawl in No Shit, by the way. So if you guys are uh, interested in that, and that is uh, that is a, a battleship brawl um, for uh, basically the Plex for Goods uh, campaign. Um, and I believe in it are going to be putting a whole bunch of Plex um, from various different... I think I think every single kill they're, they're, they're donating a certain amount of Plex for, or... or you know, uh, however, like the amount of battleships on the on the sort of uh, the battle report or something like that, they're they're giving a certain amount of plex per per ship, I believe. But like, there's that one, and I think there's a what's the other one? Um, is there oh, a free the frigate for all? one? Forget uh, free for all. The frigate one. Yeah, yeah. In Losat, in is yeah, it you you probably know better than yeah, you probably know a little bit more than the, about that than me, to be honest. By the way, I just want to say, bye, Red Echoes. See ya. Wanna be ya. Um, but, uh... Go ahead. So, which Lusek is that? Uh, isn't it in Oyueta? O-U-L-L-E-T? -O 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 -E in the Kaldari War Zone? The Kaldari Dante War Zone? Yeah, there, there is a, there is a pop-up for that specific yeah. uh, uh, Forget Free Fall that comes up when you log in, by the way, so... 
like information will be there when you log in. I'm I'm gonna get the system name and type it in chat because I pronounce French words poorly. Everybody does their French. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm gonna say this just to maybe trigger Arendas or something, but I really get the feeling you know CCP and Eve Online is really like the beta max of video games, and and the problem is they're gonna lose to a game that isn't even in existence. No. Uh, <laughs> I got that reference. Uh, <laughs> no, Eric. So Eric, like, they're not. I've... They're not the Betamax. Um, I mean, they don't even have a VC- VHS that's going to beat them. They're just going to beat. We them. are laser disc, all right. We there's talk the... about how much we're better still there... like twenty years after. <laughs> they're the non-Sony DVD format that tried Ooh. to get off the ground. Ooh, that's HD. Oh. That takes me back. There you go. <laughs> I still think we're laser disc. Right. You always <laughs> out nerd the entire fucking right. room, Arendus. Yeah. Right. So I feel like nobody's gonna nobody would buy CCP really because like I, I feel like I'm I think about how other MMORPG players react to Eve Online players. They're like, I don't wanna fuck with those guys. Like I feel I like just... the other companies don't wanna mess with us either. I... I just want to. I got to take off, guys. Hold See ya, Ernest. I want before you go. I just want golf clap here for uh, Monkey uh, Mantig. His uh, wedding was filmed in Betamax, so golf clap for him. Thank hey, you. thank you. Excellent. Well done. You know the you know the dumb you know the the crazy thing about like that particular type of comment like is yeah we may sound angry we may sound like you know very vitriolic when when it comes to sort of that like when it comes to our commentary about like Eve Online but that's because we're never fucking like you know, our comments aren't taken uh, like seriously. No, but, well, we're not pundits. We, 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 we're critics. We can say anything we, we want. This is like film we, critic day. We are angry and we are vitriolic because we've been saying the same things for how many fucking years now? We we love the way this game was four, five, six years ago. We the, the, we we spent more hours than we care to think. We can actually Playing look and the find game out. three, four, five years ago. Uh, I mean, if, I'm if CCP sure. wanted to have a, a an honest conversation and didn't just disregard any idea that a player comes up with because a player had it, like there, there are a bunch of things that players have had ideas about that are bad. Don't get me wrong, but so, yeah. there are also play that there are also ideas that players have had that have had massive community support and have been ignored by CCP um, and they they tend to have an attitude at the very least that is a player had this idea so why the fuck should we listen yeah it's, it's, they, it's, they... I, can't, I can't use this idea because like you know I am I am paid by CCP as a game designer and if I use somebody else's idea then I'm not being, you know, I'm not being, I'm not doing my job, essentially. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, the, you know, you can source ideas from the community. Like, you as a game designer can, can you know, can do more in, you know, do more when it comes to sort of, like, fleshing out that idea and turning it into actual, you know, an, an actual sort of, you know, a flow diagram as to how that functions correctly and properly. Like it, there is a lot more back. to an idea than just like grabbing it from the, from you know from a community. It, it comes back to a conversation that we had earlier on as well, which is that CCP see us as players and not customers. You know, if, if a customer re- re- requests a feature in any modern business, you take a look at whether or not that feature is viable, Feasible. whether or not it's a good yeah. idea. And you you do an assessment because, hey, these people are paying you for your services, and if there is a way to improve your services, then you try and do that because otherwise you don't get paid. But that confusion is kind of uh, logical, right? Because if you think about it, even it's Lines... It's not logical. Can I finish? Even Lines player base is not just players and customers. They're also the actual content creators. So... It is, it is a fact that what we do in the game is usually what the game developers do in other games. So how do you square that circle? 
and how do you treat these players as partially stakeholders or um, call it uh, unpaid developers because that is what they are it's it's very easy when it comes to when it comes to sort of like you know looking at the ideas and the the the, the features that they want added to the game you look at it as to does this feature if we implement it does it have third fourth fifth order effects mm -hmm. where it actually removes other people's uh like play styles from the game or does it just enrich and or and add more areas where people can you know create play styles create like you know their own little kind of uh, uh side or, or like little kind of like area of the game you know like uh, yeah i want to i want to capitalize on something that the caleb said and we we pro probably really good to talk about investigated as a team here right when when he we've been referring to ourselves as customers and i'm, and I'm thinking how do corporations really look at customers customers are really just income and costs i mean that's that's what customers are to a corporation right but what Caleb said is we're stakeholders, right? Um, we don't necessarily, you, you know, the game's a sandbox. So, you know, the game is only as good as what the people in the sandbox do with the tools in the game, right? If they're given shit tools, they're only allowed to do shit work. If they're, if they're given good tools, they can create some really historical moments in, in, a, in a game, right? And, you know, we, we do act more like stakeholders because hey we own space in some cases we defend space we we don't go to bed and we alarm clock to defend space and and play this game right we much we, we are more like stakeholders and and we act like it we 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 act a little like customers a little like stakeholders which is a, which is like a like a super customer almost right that has stakeholders <laughs> right like so, for uh, yeah, instance, but... right? If we were helping wrap the Charmin before before it got on the shelves, right? That's kind of what we do, right? Um, as, um, we're part that, of the product. Really... We are part of that... the product to sell. That's well, a it's... really dangerous line that we're kind of kind of stepping towards here. Then, if 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 that's what we want to talk about, then we're also talking about how. The only way we as players can get our point across is by pulling our investment. That I is, mean, that's well, what I've done at the beginning. That that that's, 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 what that, 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 that's what it boils down to. Is like the the, the well, I mean, that, and and that's I, another I, thing not... that Hilmar said as well. It is like you know, uh, and it was quoted in in chat like earlier on that Hilmar kind of said that uh, you know that they're not interested in listening what the players say, but what they do. But this is this also brings on something that uh, Noisy has been trying to point out, and um, with the whole uh, play to earn, we are like an amateur uh, theater group renting an actual theater stage, right, to perform our stuff. But right now we're doing it out of pocket. There is no profit for us. We oh, are basically you just. Uh, that that shit. I dis I no, 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 no. It, it, it's... I will beat you when you start talking about the play to earn shit, Caleb. Like, no. No, I don't. Listen, go, go, listen, go away I, with that bullshit. Sh shut the I fuck up. I have a right to hey, talk hey, as, hey. as well. The point is that we are playing for our own entertainment. We do not necessarily want to make money at the present scenario, but the, the, the power play is the same. We are renting the stage, we are pay paying the people to, that, that have the set pieces that we can actually play on that stage. But the point yeah. is, it, and, and why yeah, Noisy is pointing is out that, that, that play to earn is a fact, because in EVE, remember, there's been fucking real money in this game since day one. There's well, a honestly, fuck ton the... of RMT. There's a fuck ton of, 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 of money laundering and all of that shenanigans. The, because the things in the game... Money laundering in all necessarily games. Necessarily as a qualifier. Not in all so games. Not, not in all games. Yes, money on this. No, no, no. Only in games that have assets that could be exchanged and where there is a certain it, number like... of players in, in interested in actually buying and selling those fucking assets or services. Otherwise, there is not, and the, and the reason is that every well, the point is that every time, every time there is an online game with enough players, there is a black market, and that is because the things that we make, regardless okay. of whether we get paid for it or not, okay, has let me, let me value. Let me, let me the, the black market is continue. 
let me recast my stakeholder and define it, right? You are not, it has nothing to do with pay to earn or any of that stuff, okay? It's a it stakeholder, not in my context, and that's, that's what we're discussing, right? I'm framing it up in the context, right? The, the, the amount of players that are in a game, the amount of fun they're having, it doesn't matter what you pay to play this game, right? Your, what you get out of it, it it's entertainment, it's enjoyment. They're, these are entertainment dollars that you spend on this game, right? It, it's, it's important to understand the classification. So, but we are stakeholders and, and we have what we consider things in the game that are ours, right? Delve is goons. We own it. We'll fight for it. And that is a thing in the game. Because we fight for it and have these glorious battles, right? It makes Eve more appealing. Holy shit, there are people there having fun playing that game. That's we are really the key. story. It's not because we are EA and in World of Warcraft, we have an awesome holiday event that people want to come or a new new distribution. And by the way, I don't mind paying a monthly fee for Eve, for Eve because in my opinion, that monthly fee is access to the game and future enhancements to the game. That's what I'm paying for because they don't pay for distributions, right? So as a stakeholder, my stakeholding in the game is that I do things in the game that matter and ripple That's through That's really the game. fucking key. And this is why I was so... So angered. Really, Caleb, I don't think I've ever heard a statement from you that caused more blood to boil than we don't necessarily want to make money from the game. Which is a suggestion, implicitly at the very least, that we may at some point in the future want to make money from the game. I don't, you can I don't stream all you want, but there are people in this game. Money. There are people in this game that and do And it should money. not be the focus. But that doesn't matter. Either. It's because the point is that if if things, activities and services in a virtual universe has value, someone will try to monetize that, whether oh, that's the God. game developer or the Caleb actual player. Caleb has officially, player. like, gone oh. whole... You're, you're gone so, joined CCP at this point. The, 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 concern, the concern, Caleb, is the fact that, like, you feel like we should allow that in no, EVE Online? No, I didn't say that. Whereas I, didn't I say think... That. I did not say that. Really? I said, you, you're I said, let him, guys, you're guys, 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 let you're him, implying it. Let him explain what I'm you're saying that people are already doing it. So how can we either clamp down on that and make sure that we change the game to be less incentivizing to that individual play, play to earn kind of model? Because that how about needs we to just be pay that, the security no, no, team to do their fucking job. Uh, but, but they I wanna... can't. The, the point is that we have to we have to have the discussion as players with CCP. How do we make sure that CCP get their money, and there is no incentive for players to try and do okay. the whole money grabbing themselves? Lost, Caleb's lost let the me, plot. I'm, me, I'm sorry, guys, but he's lost right? the fucking plot. There is there is no way that you can stop me from selling anybody else anything i want in this game there's no way there fucking is it, it, it's me. illegal uh, it, that legal or illegal doesn't matter lots of illegal shit happens every day on the black market everywhere in the world so tell and, me and and tell and, me and someone can... someone in someone in chat actually has a little bit of experience with looking at, at numbers like this how do you design the game in a direction that disincentivizes things like goal selling things like 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 service uh, between players for actual real money how do you how do you design to make that difficult or how do you dilute the value of that with your game design, because this is also is standard fucking practices. That, Caleb is now telling us that we should eat the fact that we, we should change the game in a manner that makes it less fun. I'm just, I'm just asking. On the basis of I nothing to do with fun. No, that's I, I, that's whoa, nothing whoa, whoa, to do with whoa, fun. Whoa, 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 I'm whoa, saying, let how me do finish we... my fucking point, Caleb? <laughs> you are now telling. No, us. because you're telling me what I said, and I didn't say that. Here is the implication of what you are saying, then. Let me, let me phrase it that way. The implication of what you are saying is that we should allow CCP or, or we should uh, 
acknowledge or go along with CCP on game changes that make the game less fun, that dilute no. the game that so, we used to play. It doesn't have to be. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't have order, anything to do with fun. It has to, to, it has to do with to devalue. Prevent, well, let me finish my fucking point, Caleb. In order to prevent players from doing things that are illegal under the terms of service. How about By the way, CCP's security team do their fucking jobs? Here, here's here's a, here's the I don't even know My why we're God. talking about eliminating uh, people from having the capability to sell things real world in the game because that's not even the topic of anything CCP that we're talking about. By the way, there is nothing zero that any of you can do if I wanted to sell things in the game to let's just say RC. Okay, I can do I this in a private. It, I know, I know. But there's nothing in a private transaction or anything that we can arrange outside the game that CCP could track. The people that do it are the big gold houses and things like that. I get all that. But understand, we don't, as players, really, that doesn't affect the game that much. So okay. when it comes to, like, illicit currency selling in video games, um, and MMORPG specifically, uh, I think cracking down on it hard makes sense. And I think that... But I think at the same time, it's impossible to completely stop it if the currency has value. And EVE Online is a game where the ES has to have value. So I don't think it's something we need to worry too much about other than, yeah, they should crack down on it as hard as it is possible. I, right? Ironically, we do have to worry about it because we have the, to potential, worry about the potential of EVE Online, right? In its original form, right? And if we had still had the growth, it would be the most valuable currency out there. It would be the, the king of gold sellers because it, it not only does it have value, it has lastable value. So when, when, when and, and if CCP had actually managed their, their, their ecosystem and their economy properly, it would have been appreciating in value over time. So it would have been the biggest fucking potential for illicit trade out there. And in the early days, it actually was trending that way. This was why that it was... all requires developer so effort. The thing about the thing about no, illicit never mind. I gave fucking up. <laughs> is selling in in Eve is that I think a lot of the wind is taken out of its sails by the fact that you can buy plaques and sell it. And I think that, like, that is the reason why I I like Plex as a concept in the game. Yeah, um, it's just a like, currency, right? Because the people who want to buy uh, currency, when presented with a legal way to do it in Plex, where somebody else can buy a Plex and and they can use. That's exactly why it was yeah. made. That is, that is exactly yeah. the, the yeah. point of why Plex was and designed the Plex way it was. was. fucking genius because yes, people it is. are going to... Because uh, it uh, does exactly what you just said. It, 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 it helps solve the, the problem that people want that service, which is something that people call pay to win, but it's really not in EVE. But it's pay to get that little bit of an edge or speed things up for you so you can skip things. It was the same with skill injections, even though I think that was handled very poorly and the solution was not as healthy as it should have been. Are you about to defend skill injectors? Yeah. Is no, that what's happening no, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey. Skill injections was required in some form. Some so you sort are of defending it? Okay. No, no, no. Some sort of catching up when it comes to skill points <laughs> was, hey, was required. Hey, you can't say it was required and say you're not defending that hey, decision. Hey, I just want to just address Marley Thunt in chat, right? Like, because I don't know what the fuck anti-money laundering and money laundering is, right? Um, I know exactly okay. what it is, and you guys know my background in finance. Um, me selling an asset in game to Arcia and maybe doing a Venmo transaction over it isn't anti money laundering. Isn't money laundering? Has nothing to do with it, right? And if it and if it reaches the the degree that I have to claim it, I can claim it in the U.S. and I'm just fine. Okay, it's against the toss. It's not against the law in the U.S. for me to sell any asset that I own to another person. Okay, so okay, just to, just to on. answer fucking chat here, right? Okay, paying for skill points. If it's for catching up, it's not paying for to win. But the problem is the way it was designed made it possible to actually pay for getting ahead. That is why I said the way it was designed was bad. The fact that we needed it because we had a decade or more 
of skill point accrued on characters that new characters would never feel like they could catch up to, even if it was an exponential system. So fundamentally, they would eventually catch up. But the, the, the thing is, we needed something to give them the perceived catch up. But we gave the inherent- them something something that instead was abused by the existing player base, by whales, by credit card warriors, to actually get ahead. They the broke the game. that it was necessary is it was. inherently defending their position, Caleb. No, 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 it was. I, I, I have I, said I, many I, times, I, I, I on, a, on a game design point of view, it was not required, as I just said, because it's an exponential skill point system where you accrue things and the higher tiers get harder and harder and diminishing returns. It was fundamentally not needed. But at, from a perception point of view, when a new player started, it looked like it. It, it's a bit like, again, I have said this before, it's a bit like playing Dungeons and Dragons and you join a group of level 15 and 20 characters and you feel like being level one is going to be a problem. Well, before they reach one level, you will be one level behind them. So it's not a fucking problem. Except, and it's the same in well, EVE Online. It, it is a little different in EVE Online. And by the way, remember, the, the part of the challenge that CCP is trying to solve right, is how do they retain new players? And and if their perception is the new players are quitting because they can't compete with people who have been here for 10 or 15 years, right, they need to level set that. And that's where my original suggestion worked with the the CSM to really get a game plan to understand that. And we as veteran players do have to understand that, you know, life isn't perfect. And if we are trying to enrich the game and there is a, a way... I'm not saying skill injection or anything, did it or didn't. But if there is a way to keep those new players in here longer, perhaps faster advancement, faster gain of, of, of skill points in some way, right? That's where you work with the your key people in your player base and you trust them to help you as a company. Because the CSM, again, CCP, if you haven't figured this out for yourself, the CSM is actually here to help you, okay? And if you actually use them and talk to them, You'll, you'll get real help because they're smart people, okay? And in, and in many cases, they're smarter than you and your CEO, okay? If you haven't figured that out, you need to, okay? If you want to be successful, work with your players. Gain their trust, right? CCP's lost the trust of the players. And that's another challenge. Um, they have to regain the trust. They have to work with the CSM and solve these problems. Okay, and if somebody comes to us and doesn't jam it down our throat or sneak it in the back door like they're doing, um, you'll find if you explain yourself, your, your, your customers will be more understanding. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to, uh, you know, what it, whatever the new Coke is, you know, they got this little test market. And it's not like replacing the old classic Coke or anything, but they say it tastes like space. Start. It tastes like space. It was. It kind of just tasted like vanilla Coke, honestly. It's cotton. It's cotton candy, and and it Coke. tasted a lot like vanilla Coke to me. Cotton candy. It's got a cotton. We 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 had a significant taste test here at the uh, Casa de Asmachia. I still okay. like Pepsi better. Yeah, Pepsi sucks. How, how do they know how space <laughs> tastes like? Hey, hey, somebody, so you, oh. somebody at Coke played Eve online. So fuck you. They know what it tastes. The like. International Space Station. Okay. Yeah. Open the window. Took off their if helmet. You, the, if, if you ask uh, astronauts, then they will tell and, you if space tastes like anything, it's um a bit metallic. I'm just gonna say, okay, the International House of Space Soda. We need it. Uh, you can come to the international, the interstellar house of pancakes in Pator before those are orbiting uh, the Matari homeworld in Matar. Really? You have an inter, inter, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. you said? Yeah. Okay, cool. The inter- like, it's, uh, yeah, it's, the, it's an EM port. How, how, how would we donate to that? Or, what would be the way? It's, I mean, it's not like a charity. It's just a port desire. But you can, you can give me money. Okay, so you can give our no, no, money for her little don't, don't, don't get no. Space. We already have it. We already have it. I, I mean, if we're going, there's there, upkeep. Already, isn't there? There's upkeep. You know, some uh, fuel. You know, 
Yeah, there's a lot of old players who have more money than sense. It's well, fine. You know, just give, donate just to the for, Plex for good. The Plex for good for for Ukraine. We we right? really should talk about that. We were yeah. going to talk about that earlier. Let's throw that in there now. We're almost out of time. Oh, there's there no, no meta, meta show. show. We don't. We have a no we don't meta have time show. We are unlimited. We have an unlimited time. unlimited edition, right? Okay. By the way, by the way, by the way, if you just keep, you know, the guy who keeps recreating counts, I'll just keep banning you, so I don't care. Um, the, uh, let's see, so we have the Interstellar House of Pancakes, which is, which is excellent. I like pancakes. I'm a fan of pancakes. I've seen the pancakes. I've eaten the pancakes. They're great. So, go there. Five stars for the Interstellar House of Pancakes. So what do we, um, yeah, I mean, like I said. You know, Hilmar, come on in. Either that or I'll have, you know, CCP chair that, that's Hilmar and we'll interview CCP chair. I'm not beyond doing that. So uh, I'll make up your answers. Dr. Pepper is the king. Thank I, I you. I will say that um, you have to choose your words carefully, Eric. You implied that I was smart. Get you right. are smart. Well, I, I don't imply you are smart. You Soth wouldn't have been elected if you weren't smart. Soth is smart. Everybody here on this thing and in our audience is smart too. I mean, I am. I am. A, I am an ascended loser. Right? I came in eleven. <laughs> you what? I came in eleven. Right? Doesn't and matter. Then, you're, oh on, you're, on, down. you're there. You're a big deal. I am That's now. The way it is. You know. I, I I voted for you last time, and I'd vote for you again. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. I, you know, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm good with the Mr. Piv. I'm go good with the Dr. Pepper. Although uh, I do not drink soda. I drink it as little as I can. But I did ask my wife last week to buy some cherry Dr. Pepper. So we do have that. But I believe all my children drank it before I could have more than. So I'm sad. Yeah. Um, since the pandemic, I've gained weight. So yeah. like me and everybody else, right? You gained weight, my ass. I mean, I have gained weight, like, objectively. I'm not saying that I'm, like, overweight or anything, but I've gained weight. I, I, I didn't okay, have tweet. that luxury. I, I had to work on my feet during the pandemic. Um, yeah. I will uh, not start losing weight until it's golf season, so that's kind of started, so. Oh, so you're starting what to gain I, weight. What? To, to lose weight, sorry. Oh, yeah, I do. I lose a lot of weight during the golf. I mean, I'll drop, like, 20 pounds in the first month. Um, we we did go to Top Golf yesterday. Every, anybody in the area that can go to Top Golf, my first trip to Top Golf, it is it is pretty damn fantastic and fun. And my hey, one um, son, who is not a golfer, is the one who kicked everybody's ass the first two games. So okay, there. um, I I have to address Twitch chat real quick. Okay, I am not indulging anybody in feet picks. <laughs> um, <laughs> That that's not my thing. Um, yeah, he's a little you, harder you, to you, cajole than brisk. Uh, you you guys enjoy your um your your, your thing, your kink. Um, absolutely, we do not have kink shaming on the show, but I'm not engaging with it. Delador, it's gotta be it's gotta be a big Dr Pepper sales polo. So so if if you, I, I, if I can't keep doing the eve streaming thing when when the real money. Uh, pay to earn comes in, and I and I don't make it as a Final Fantasy VTuber. Maybe I'll go on OnlyFans and put up some feet pics. And... Okay, I'm okay. So, truth be told, Mrs. Asmok, she likes she likes to shop, but she doesn't like to necessarily accumulate things she shops for. She just likes to shop. Okay, so in order to do that, she sells things she shops for on Amazon, or not Amazon, but on. Uh, all the little portals, eBay, all of them, right? She's Macari, she's got a count everywhere. She sells everything everywhere, right? And amazingly, she does pretty well. But you would not believe, like, when she sells shoes, she gets messages from people. I'll buy those shoes, but I want a picture of you, your feet in those shoes to come with them. Like, you know, every pair, I was, I was really... every freaking pair. It's I was crazy. really struggling to uh, figure out where the connection was between there it is. feet pick and your wife liking to shop. 
<laughs> but you know, she she gets she shops thrift stores and things, right? And she'll find shoes and different things and brand new items and everything, and she just sells them. Like she she sells them, she buys them for a quarter and sells them for like twenty, thirty, forty dollars. It's crazy, right? But yeah, everybody who buys a, a pair of shoes, like not everybody who buys them, but there are people who buy shoes on eBay and they want feet pics with the shoes. It's crazy. It's like a lot. That's pretty disturbing. And they're willing to pay a lot of money for it, too. I think we found an alternative to selling retrievers, everybody. There you go. So, you know... (laughs) I don't want to see any... Let's see some sandals with CCP Rattati's feet in them. Hilmar, Hilmar, quit showing pictures of you naked getting in and out of a hot tub. I mean, sell some pictures of you and some, you know, some ufus or something, man. Let's go. No, let, no, we need a skin of every member of CCP's feet. Oh, hold it, hold, hold oh, it. That's a skin that, that, like, instead of the rabbit ears, yeah, you below buy, every you ship can, we've you got, got a feet. skin for each <laughs> individual skins for every. Everybody's um, feet and they, shit, can, uh, they can expand that to key did I, did I share too much about Mrs. 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 Asma? Uh, Foxfire in chat. Um, that would be the the next step. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, okay. I, I want to address uh, Foxfire. Like, a nobody would want to pay for his feet pics anyway, and b you'd probably have to pay anybody to do that. Because, yeah, dudes. Nobody <laughs> wants to see men's feet anyway. I mean, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Asmoth, I mean, she takes care of her feet. You know, she's at that stupid foot place every other week. Ladies take that- care of their feet. <laughs> Men don't. We don't, you know. Toe Jam, what <laughs> the fuck's that? I mean, it, I mean. Toe Jam is from Sega Genesis. Toe Jam and Earl. It's a game. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this sauna this, skin this, this, for this the retriever. Toe Jam and Earl skin. Toe Jam and Earl crossover event with skins. This is what we've come to on the Push to Talk show. Um, you know, C- CCP have driven us to the very extremes. Feet picks. I'm waiting for the CCP only fans, and you have a subscription to that, and that's how they're boosting their quarterly earnings. I'm not sure it would work, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Only NFTs. It's like Mr. Deeds. You guys see Mr. Deeds the movie? You guys watch that, right? Because it's funny as shit, right? Everybody's watched that. Any notes? No. It's really? The guy, the butler, he's like, allow me to change your song. I like feet. You don't know why. Oh dear lord. Um... CCP feet. There we go. We need CCP feet and CCP only fans. <laughs> no, I don't think we need that. Hey, you know, it, it's going to really come down to it. Um, here, here's the thing, right? I used to really get enraged about things from CCP, and, and now I'm just kind of like, if you see me, it's just more for effect because I'm, I'm apathetic about the whole thing. I think they're doomed, and I don't think they're willing to listen to anybody to help them. So really, that I mean, that's where they sit. I'm I, I, just apathetic. Just, just, just let it fucking fail and and let's move on. Uh, you know, I need another tea time uh, during the week anyway. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that it's been on my mind a little bit, um, especially in light of the current Plex for Good campaign. Whether or not I should do as some other players have done and just liquidate my major assets liquidate the 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 shit that i have um i i wouldn't extract skill points i wouldn't go quite that far because i um would i'm i'm currently engaged in tournament stuff and i would like to be so in the future it's it's still something fun for me but playing eve online as it is right now is not so should i just you know liquidate the shit and donate it denote it all to plex for good um you know it it's uh hajpodge says that um he donated straight to medicine sans frontier um instead of going through plex for good but i mean 
Plex for good is another way to do it, right? Um, if, if players don't have uh, that disposable income to donate to other sources, um, like Plex for good is a is a way to do it, and yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where like my Titan, my carriers, uh, the the various bits of shit that I have sitting in corporate hangars somewhere it's a it, it, it's a it's a thing where if i can make some good it actual good in the world around the the stupid shit that ccp are doing right now i i don't know it, it's a it's a thought process that i've been having and i'm kind of like still not come to a decision on yeah, and That's CCP that. doesn't care about that because they figure if you ever come back to the game, now you got to buy more Plex and jazz yourself back up, right? So yeah, I mean, no. Think about it, it that it, way. I mean, not, I'm, it, by it, the way, not discouraging anybody from donated Plex for Good or any of the other charities I donated through through my charity in, in my way um, to do that. I encourage everybody to you know support what they want to support and support it how they want to. Support. See, that, that's my biggest issue there, Eric. If I leave, if I decide I'm done, if I liquidate my shit, I am basically saying that EVE Online as a game is done for me. And I've spent a lot of years yeah. thinking about this game as a, a really great place to be, uh, so thinking about the community as fantastic. You know, the reason that we do these shows is because we, we enjoy getting together and having a chat. And yeah. even yelling at each the, other, which the, is okay because we're friends. So yeah, yeah, and and the, these shows where we're talking very seriously about CCP's fuck ups, we don't enjoy doing these shows, guys. Like I just, um, I just still don't like when you do the whole fuck ups because if you think about it, right, one of the most, one of the biggest gaming scams out there, scam citizen, has been raking in money hands over fist, right, and many of the things that that he basically used as the whole inspiration and premise for his fucking fantasy bullshit was basically on CCP's table for actual vision and actual ambition. I, I yeah, totally just, just, make... just, a, just, a, just a quick warning, folks. I, it's pretty windy out here, and I did just have an electrical flicker. So we may be testing. If we go away, we will come right back. And um, This will be fun. But, but technically, but... I should stay online. And never go but, off. but yeah, uh, I I, Sorry, I, call, Derek, I, I I call them fuck ups because I call it like I see it. I the, these are major fuck ups on account of the the company that is in control of Eve Online. That these are major fuck ups in terms of the way CCP are approaching us as players, us as customers, us as stakeholders. There's been a whole huge conversation about the stakeholder versus customer versus player thing today and i think that's a big thing that ccp need to go away and reflect on well they need to stop being fucking amateurs and they need to they need to learn how to engage with their customer when it comes to actually selling their products they could start by actually having a marketing budget which last that i checked there's hardly any money being spent on marketing how can you not want to market your product when you feel like it's struggling to retain and get new customers it's like are, are you daft it's like are you expecting the players to do it have you listened to your player base recently they do not want to sell this game to their best friend because it's in the shitter and and this so, is why the whole question about liquidating assets and donating right now plex for good seems like a really great thing because if I liquidate my assets and turn them into Plex, okay, sure, I've liquidated my assets and turned them into Plex. I can come back to that Plex later. Or I could liquidate my assets right now and turn it into Plex and do some fucking good in the world. Even if it's just 50, 60 quid, it, it's more than nothing. It, it, it's, it's, it's a huge kind of question because I'm like... I, I, I want to believe, I, I really, really want to believe that this is a game that I could come back to in uh, a year, two years. You know, I'm not saying I'm going to stop doing things in the community, but in terms of active playership, I want to believe that I 
could come back to this game in uh, a year or so, and it will be better. Can but I I'm not sure if I'm that quick. gullible. What? Who, or, yeah, I, I want to say? address this one quick. Yeah, Maraleaf in chat uh, saying Eve is being swept by Pearl Abyss. No, we need to get over this idea of Pearl Abyss are doing this. It's not. It's Hilmar, it's Rotati, it's the CCP marketing team. Pearl it Abyss, is CCP any leadership specific, have, specifically, yeah. Yeah, if anything, Pearl Abyss have actually shown they are pretty hands-off, and the only times they get hands-on is from what they've said in their earnings report, when CCP put the game into the shitter so bad that they had to step in to fix it, a.k.a. Blackout. Yeah, the um so I'm I'm curious and Caleb, I don't know if it was you who said this or someone else, right? They have no marketing budget. I mean, do we act we don't actually see their budget, so we don't really know what they're spending, right? I mean this yes. this whole the pack... budget the budget the budget uh, is out. Um the, the financial statement with the budget with the with the statements of the individual uh details with something okay. like marketing okay. is actually out. I think it was Spot that had gone and found it. Or maybe noisy linked it to him and we were sitting and going through the individual details and the fact that they have hardly any marketing budget is in my opinion ridiculous because and and you haven't seen any of those cool advertisement like uh uh things <laughs> from ccp in an age it's like been it's been forever what we get it is we get that uh what's it called the pulse which is kind of good, but that's internal. That's like the internal uh, uh, information stuff. And it's our TV show. We're already sold on this. This is like those fucking Eve Online ads that I keep getting on Facebook. CCP, Facebook, I am not the one you need to sell on this game. I've played it for a while. You don't need to sell it to me. Yeah. You need to sell it to the other people, not me. So, Noisy, I don't know if Noisy's question was, wait, no marketing budget, meaning, do you really mean that? Or he was, like, making that a question as a statement. I'm not sure, Noisy, can you, can you help us understand? And, and by the way, we'll just, we'll, we'll wait for that, because I, I don't understand. But, yeah, if you've, if you've seen it, Caleb, right, that, that's really good to know, because I, I mean... I'm it. apathetic enough that I just don't give a shit. Now, now I'm going to go back into the value of your customer, right? So back in the heyday of EVE Online, okay, one of your most valuable aspects of your customer is that you had so many customers. And, and even when we talked about EVE Online much, much earlier, right, we were, we were more considered what you could call evangelists for the game. Because the, same, the game was so cool, yeah, it had its problems. We complained about those problems and we wanted them to fix. But the game was still exciting and there were lots of people playing the game. There's lots of activity and, and things you could do, right? So your player was actually your evangelist. When I, when I asked this group, how many people, when they talk to their friends, sit there and say, dude, this game is great. You should play it. Anyone? Any affirmative people well, I, saying I, that? I have, I have felt like selling Eve to anyone that I knew were serious enough and could potentially survive it, right? Right. But I stopped doing that, I would say, around four or five years ago when I could just see that they kept pretty much doing exactly the opposite of what they would need to do to make it survive. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've felt that since we lost Seagull, the vision has been completely fucking lost and there was mistakes that were made in the era of Siegel that were then never fixed and never iterated on and this is back to the whole thing of them being an amateur group still they don't go back and fix old mistakes it, it is complete fucking amateur hour and and they let it run so long that people grow accustomed to it and start calling it features this just so, and I, and I, I have to say it because it's just a fact. And even Arendus agrees with me. Infinite slot was a mistake. Go back and fix it. I mean, anybody else? I mean, you know, you, I, I'm sure you all used to sit and some of your close friends say, you got to play this game. Right? Any, yeah, all the time. Any, yeah. Yeah. Does it happen now? No. No. No, no. This is... Oh, sorry, Arcee. I went over here. 
Yeah. Hell, I, I, I have friends who I Go recommend the game it. to. I, I was just going to say that I have friends who I recommended the game to who did play and have stopped playing now. And I'm okay. still here. I, I, it, it's... I think it's the other way around right now, right? For all of us. We, we more feel like actually telling our other EVE playing friends... Stop playing. It's not no, getting no, better. It, 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 it's getting fucking worse. Come play something else, even if it's stupid pump and dump like New World and, and Lost Ark. At least it's fun for about 500, 1,000 hours. So, like, I still have fun playing EVE Online. Like, I went roaming last night, and I enjoyed it. And I want to keep enjoying it. As things are right now, I will... Uh, if people are looking for game recommendations or they pop into my stream and they ask me about the game, if I will explain the game. I will talk about the things I like about it, things I don't like about it. And um, I'm always open and upfront, but I will still sometimes recommend Eve, yeah. That's, that's fair, yeah. I mean, some of us are at different points, I, depending I on what keep, we do. I will keep playing the game as long as I'm enjoying it. And when I'm not, when I don't enjoy it anymore, I'll stop playing. And I get angry about stuff like this because I don't want to get to the point where I don't enjoy it anymore, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, I guess that's a uh, fair point. Play. Fair point yeah. about, about when people interpret that we're being angry or complaining, right? Again, it's not because we want to beat up on CCP and the game and what they do. We, we are just really at the point begging them to actually use their brains when they're doing stuff. Again, uh, my strongest advice is fire Hilmar and listen to the CSM and work with them to get your product in, in gear. There's a whole thing here. Sothrasil and I are currently running a tournament. It's called the Anger Games. You may have heard us talk about this before. Right, Once Soth or twice. Maybe, yeah. Um, we are still running that tournament because we love the idea of Eve. We love Especially the tournament scene. The the tournament scene is 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 small enough already that we we don't want to make it any smaller. Well, and I, I think I think most of us same, in here can... at, at the same time, CCP aren't making it any easier to expand the tournament scene. No, uh, in in such a way where like we could take some time off from the Anger Games and then expect that somebody else would come in with a new tournament. Well, I think, not I think... making it any easier. Is, is that accurate, Soth? Yeah. I think the room here agrees that EVE is maybe one of the best games or potentially one of the best games ever made. At least that's what I feel. If they had kept going in the direction of their original vision and ambition and idea, it would have been amazing. But instead, it actually took a horrible turn from like 12, 13, and it's just been trickling down towards zero ever since. Can it get back in health? I think so. I know I might be the only one left that's positive about this, but I, I really think they could do it. But... I'm not going to say fire Hilma or, well, I did say fire Rotati or at least move him to something else. Can I amend my fire definitely... Hilmar statement? Fire both of them. Okay. Well, he, he, he cannot. Get out. He cannot manage an economy. And Hilma can is we weak. include the non existent executive producer in that? No, like, sure. Well, sure. But, but can, I, can, I just, can, I just, can I just mediate it a little bit? Because no. Hilma is not a CEO, that's his problem. He's really, really bad. Hire a real professional CEO and make Hilma one of the people in the group that actually designs the vision for the game, no. not the business. No. Because no, no. Oh, no. seriously, he he is one he, of the Hilma old guard. No, well, not the guy who brought you should. blackout. He should have fucking nothing to ever do. No, 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 no. That's, that's that's yeah, that's because he, he, can, he can go. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, seriously, let's let's be fair. Hilma is one of the old guard. He actually have I, been I there been since fair. since day one. He understands the game. He know what the he, original he premise was. He doesn't understand the game anymore. No, no not anymore. Not. But that's but because he's, he's been fucking. He's been pseudo CEOing and failing at it okay. for ten years. There is no. Right, but at way... this point, he's too far out of touch. Yeah, he, he's gone. He he needs to go. 
just cash your shares in, take your money, whatever, just get out. It's time to leave, right? You've been here 20 years too long. Go be a CEO somewhere else, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, go go focus on your blockchain project. Every single thing. NFTs or the meta. Everything he's touched in the game turns to shit. Okay. So, no. Is this type of absolutist aggressive personal attack bullshit that makes it so that these people never listen to us and trust us because if we, we vote people no 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 if we vote people people in on the CSM and they're supposed to give them this fucking information and this attitude they're not going to listen to the CSM Again, Caleb Caleb you're wrong they already don't listen you are 100% wrong that's not what we said the CSM should do that's not what we said CCP should do with the CSM. This is me as a critic, as somebody who invests in companies, looks at CEOs, talks to CEOs, does all that shit, right? Hilmar is terrible. He is the worst thing for this game right now and has been for at least a decade. Now, you I, can I, disagree, but I'm going to tell you, Ratati and Hilmar are some of your problem here. There's an attitude problem on both of them. Hilmar has shown his attitude and in, in his understanding and his thoughts on the players when he's not in like a little cushy interview, right? He didn't even write his own thank you or, or I'm sorry letter, okay? We know personally how he's reacted and treated people inside CCP, okay? He's not a good player. He's not a good character. He's not a good guy. He's wearing the black hat. Well, when yeah, everyone we, when, when everyone is screaming at you and pissing on you, you're not likely to come out with an honest apology. Hey, hey, you're, not, the, the, you're not the, likely, the, the you're not side. likely to understand that you've messed up. Yes, the he did mess up. The flip side of that is potentially messed up. people he's, are calling you out for a yeah. fucking reason. Okay, he's messed up many times, Caleb, but he's also Caleb. he's also been the fucking anchor of the game and no, the whole idea okay, of okay, the okay. game. He fucking hasn't. No. Seagull was the anchor. No, Soundwave was. He the was anchor. brought in to fix it. Yes, Soundwave was, was hired from the player base, and he was a fucking genius. And he decided. He could... Hilmar decided he was going to fix it when he stepped in as executive producer after Seagull left and never fucking relinquished the role. We have never yeah. heard from the current executive producer of Eve Online. Which is CCP Manbjorn, for any of our viewers who uh, don't know. CCP Manbjorn is the executive producer. There is a trifecta of people below CCP Manbjorn, which is uh, CCP Ritati, who is director of something or other. Product. You have uh, CCP Burger, who is uh, the creative director. And then you have CCP Shreddy, who is director of actually implementing whatever the fuck, I, I think. Hey. Um, I, I can't remember their particular titles offhand right now. But generally, this has all been orchestrated from the fucking top. And the people at the top need to actually take a good look at themselves and go, yeah. we, we're we... not being positive contributors anymore. We are taking this in a negative direction. The players of the game that we are trying to manage do not want us here. Let's, I mean, come on. It's just like, you know, history, get out. even recent history. Get out is, of the fucking is, way. Is rife with companies that have made certain mistakes, taken certain actions, done certain things, CEOs that have done certain things. And they actually say, hey, we're going to change policy because we made a mistake. Right? I mean, big CEOs, not like CCP CEOs. CCP is like small teeny tiny in the world of corporations in the world, okay? We, we've seen how other CEOs react to certain things, right? And how, how they do things. This guy isn't a CEO. He doesn't act like a CEO. I mean, I'm a CEO, okay? Um, and, 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 you know, anybody that, can be a, a CEO. All you got to do is start a corporation and, and be the boss, okay? There's a key word that I want to introduce here, which is responsibility. When you what? have responsibility yeah. for however many employees and a product that you are trying to sell a product that you are trying to grow and make a good product you have yeah. responsibility if you make a major fuck up in, in in the in the corporate world generally if you make a major fuck up and the fuck up is ultimately your responsibility 
right? You, you, when when you have a fuck up that is huge that creates such uh, customer outrage, customer backlash, you do an investigation to figure out who the fuck the problem is. And then well, you fire the point the is the point is if you or want the, it, or the if you if you if you're not if you're not trained you're fired or leaves if you're not trained as a CEO if you're not trained at at leading a big business how, then what you need question? what are you, you need are you, are you defending are you trained to be a CEO <laughs> there are professional CEOs out there that actually get hired only to be a CEO and nothing else the point is if you do not have the skill set from the actual running big business you need people underneath you that can then advise you you can't sit there and expect that you can give those but hats to your friends it, it, and, if and you can't right if you can't do the job get out of the fucking way no no no, no. Uh, if, if you're if you're a founder if you're a founder that many founders want to keep the ceo position in their on their own head that's just a fact they then hire people to advise them. But CCP never got around to actually moving into that professional bracket where they run the business professionally. They are still mm -hmm. running it as if it's a fucking back uh, office uh, uh, garage band bullshit. They are still being amateurs. And you, if you allow the type of slight nepotism that nepotism? has been going on in CCP... I, they're hiring uh, their relatives... Is that what they're doing? I'm, I'm, they're I'm kind of. They're, they're hiring their friends. But yeah, well, that's nepotism, gonna say, but go ahead. I'm going to say it again. If you can't do the job, get out of the fucking way. Let's, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, but, but, but you, can, you can keep screaming at me. But it, it, we have seen the practice of appointing people in roles of power in CCP based on, well... How likable no they are, and that's just that's just not what you're supposed to do as an amateur CEO so, that wants to keep control of your company. Then so, you need professionals, you need fixers, you need actual people okay. that know how to crunch numbers. You need data scientists, you need a CFO that's got fucking skills. And I don't feel like CCP has ever moved into that area where Caleb, they actually hire talent. But Caleb, you started that this part of the conversation with. Um, you know, how do we expect those people to react when people are beating up on them like we are all the time, right? Understand that all CEOs, all actors, all celebrities, they all get picked on and, and, and beat up all the time, okay? It, it, it comes with the position, okay? So you have to be mature enough to deal with that, right? So I really don't fucking care what we say as critics about CCP and Hillmar and all of them. They, they need to be big enough to, to take it, right? They have big men, thick skin. That's part of the deal. Um, the other thing is you, you, you made the point, you made the point perfectly, okay, in the fact that as why Hilmar has to go is because he can't manage the company. Look at Google, look at Apple, look at all those glorious startups, look at Oracle, look at all the big companies in the world that started with the founders as the CEOs and, and whatever they were eventually they bring in those people under them and eventually those people take charge right those the founders move out of those positions right you look at starbucks it's changed it a couple times right everybody so the, those people once they've started up and they've they've done what they do they move out they may be called something else in the company and do some other role uh, and still be affiliated with it but the people who actually know how to run the numbers know how to run the company um, eventually are in charge. And, and CCP acts and looks like a young company because they've never matured and, and figured that part of the journey out. You, you made the point perfectly. That's exactly what they haven't done. And it's sad because I, I think either if Hilma had said, okay, I'm going to step down or to the side and let a more professional administration run the fucking top part of of the company so we can actually grow into something healthy and we can make the creatives do the creative stuff of actually making great fucking games i think ccp would have been a completely fucking different story like even if even if hilma had actually had ago, uh, yeah. if, if if hilma had had a fucking hardcore business dude a, a lawyer or a finance guy in the meeting with sony we wouldn't have had this conversation at all because this whole shit, this whole shit happened when 
all the dust pre-dust. shenanigan went no, no, went well, went to shit when 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 um, when Incarna went to shit. It is yeah, always see, that, that's the point that you've touched on there. When but the point when is Incarna that, that, that went Incarna, to shit. Incarna, that was the time. Incarna was premature. Stepped aside. Incarna was prematurely pushed because they were panicking, and that is maybe understandable. But it's because they were amateurs. They pushed something that were like a teaser of the vision, but the teaser was just horrible, and the the result was a complete fucking crash, and then they killed the vision. That was the big tragedy. Incarna failing and and Dust being fucking locked on a dead console. This is why CCP failed. Hold it. You need to point once us to debate something else. Cabbage on pizza. Yes or no? (laughs) No. Okay. Dear God, no. C- cabbage is good, I mean, but it has its place. Is it? Is it? Is, is it? it hold it! Hold it! Is it? Um, is it uh, St. Patrick's just, Day pizza if it's got corned beef and cabbage on the pizza? It, is that okay? it doesn't matter if it has cabbage; it's bad. Okay. I would try oh. cabbage on pizza if it's roasted. Yeah. I'm, uh, no. I would try no. it. Try it once and see how it is. <laughs> no, I she's adventurous. In Iceland. She's adventurous. She's. What are you trying, Ashley? Mana on pizza in Iceland. What's what's mana on pizza? Mana, isn't that magic? You're you're Yeah, you he's back. Hey Arcia, you Arcia, you, we can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, we couldn't hear you. You were were you lip syncing or what were you doing? Were you, no, were you like I was saying Millie I, I tried banana on pizza. Was it any good? <coughs> okay. Well I wouldn't <laughs> well, think it would be good. Go. Like, however, it however, it wasn't, it's like, be the same it wasn't however, gross. I'm gonna, it, it wasn't like terrible. It just wasn't that great. I'm gonna make bananas. I'm gonna make bananas are, good are on pizza right for all of you. Bananas will be good on pizza. Okay, you take the the pizza, you know, dough pulled out, right? All right. A little cinnamon, a little sugar in there, a little butter. Slice up that banana, cook that sucker in. It's a dessert pizza. You're all gonna fucking love it. Just bananas, Foster Pizza, right? Okay. Take it out, little flambe. Best, best pizza topping. Go jalapeno. Jalapeno. Jalapeno, best pizza topping. Like hot or just flavored like jalapeno? You, Jal- jalapeno is like up? actual jalapenos, like hot jalapenos. Okay, well, I, I love spicy food. All right, there you go. Make pizza dough out of cookie dough. No, that's best just a. That's just top. a. What's best pizza best, topping? Best pizza topping. Everybody. Okay. Another Everybody pizza. go. What is it, Orandis? I didn't hear. Another pizza. That's that's Larry and Carol's baby. That's stuffed pizza. You know, that, no, that, you fold over the classic. same slice on top of itself. We call that a UFO here. No, uh, no. I personally would say um, a pizza really needs a good sauce. Spicy or sweet? Savory or sweet sauce? Where are we going here? It doesn't matter. It, it just you, needs... you can do spicy and sweet together for people who yeah. like like the dreaded uh, pineapple on pizza, right. pineapple okay. jalapeno. Yeah, this is, not, this is, this is not, my right hand, not and over sweet. here to my right is a trap door for all those pizza who want people want sweet sauce on their pizza. Right here, stand right here, right down, like right most, down to the meat pie maker pizza place. Sauce, most pizza sauce does have sugar in it, and you have to go really light on that crap. Yeah, because, I mean, tomato needs some sugar to shine. I mean, if you really want to make a good tomato-based sauce, you need to put some sugar in that. Not a lot, right? Not American well, amounts of most, sugar. Most pizza sauce. Hey, 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 hey. Most Americans most don't put sugar in things. Pe- we put high fructose corn syrup, okay? Get it right. Most, okay, most fair. goddamn most Germans. pizza sauces, <laughs> you know, and things marketed as, as that have way too much sugar. Any pizza the, that's yeah, not from New York the, is wrong. Well, I mean, that's a given. Okay, most, pe- most, most pizza shops per square mile. Pittsburgh, thanks. Just because they have the most per square mile doesn't mean they have the it's best. It's the you can, best. It's you not can, the best. You can call them pizza shops. It's the pits. But they're <laughs> but they're they're hobbled by the fact that they're in Pittsburgh. Hey, we call it Pittsburgh here, and they're distillers. All right. 
I'm going to be in Philadelphia next month for two days. Oh, so God help you. The city of brotherly love where you get stabbed in the I'm gonna side. Be at a conven- I'm going to be at a convention with a, uh, the group that, oh, all right. that I do Maid Cafe with. All right. All right. Well, you you have to come back after that, and you have to give us a synopsis of the uh, the best cheesesteak that you had there, and you have to have several. I'm, I'm vegan. Well, just have cheese. Uh, By the way, uh, I know, I know, I know. I, I don't, I don't want to get you guys away from the food talk. But did we talk about the uh, the battleship brawl yet? We did, but we can talk about it again because we've been here a long time. We probably have a whole new audience. Dirk, yeah, is there something really else you haven't spoken about either? Yeah, you know, um, and, and by the way, twenty five minutes, we can be right into right into uh, meta show time. Eight. Hey, hey, look, I, I'm an, uh, entirely anticipating that we will end up being the meta show for at least part of the evening at this point. We've been here long enough and we're, we're still going, so... Yeah, I was surprised. I'm, I'm not actually here. I'm just popping in to go, damn, why are you guys still running? Um, Caleb, also, I, I'll I tell you Caleb, why. Caleb won't I heard shut Caleb up. Complaining, he won't shut I heard up. Caleb I complaining it. about people screaming, and I, I think that's just, you know, the funniest thing in the world since Caleb <laughs> is... In, completely incapable of having a conversation with his volume set at less than 13. <laughs> uh, okay, so be- before we get into the battleship talk, I'd like to ask Bard Ghost, what have I not spoken about today? I think you know what. No, I think he did talk about it, but we said talk about it again, the battleship I, 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 I swear no, to God. No, not battleship. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm um, asking you what I'm supposed to have talked about that you think I haven't. What, what, like, what he t- means tell is, me. w- did we talk about that um, we actually managed to get the pack off the store? Well, not just that, but something else. Just, just fucking Vargo, stop talking around the issue and talk about it. Yes, I believe that. there's a post somewhere, isn't there, Derek? By the way, by the way, I, I got just, timed out <laughs> in the I, chat. I, I ju- <laughs> I, how'd you get timed out? Because somebody said they wanted to see a, a picture of uh, oh, let me, see me I... from the cafe. And I posted a link to a tweet I made. Uh, I right, give the it. link to one of the usual guys and we can post it. That's a pretty usual thing in our, our Twitch chat, like random links just get. Music. Yeah, that happens all the time. So, yeah, we, we if you pass the link off to like myself or Eric uh, or Matt, we we can throw that in for you. I'll, I'll put it in stuff. Yeah, give it to one of the irresponsible adults. I, I I tweeted a picture from the Atlantic City cafe that we did last year. Zurinese room. Oh dear lord, actual maid outfits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a face shield. It's a it's a clear mask, basically. Uh we wait on people. And and entertain them with like games and songs and shit. And Eric is apparently muted. That that yeah, that yeah, one yeah, was yeah. in Atlantic City, not in Japan. Do you, you guys travel around and do this? Uh, at like various conventions and stuff. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. All right, we got we got what one one person with bunny ears. One person that looks like maybe they've got, you know, wrapping paper bows in their head. And another one with yeah. like lion ears or something. There's a couple of cat ears snuck in there yeah, somehow. Yeah. Um, lots one. of lace, by the looks. I don't know that. Uh, well, no. M- m- maybe not lace, but like lace it's imitation, cool. at least. It's kind of cool. Um, you are the shortest one, aren't you? No. You look short. I'm the I'm the second tallest. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Sorry. Uh also, how is it that one person get, didn't get the memo about uh the, the color the, scheme? The color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she was a uh, she was like a special performer from another group. Uh, oh, okay, so okay. Uh, oh, she she was special. She's like a singer. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Looking pretty cool. 
Uh-huh. All right, what's our next topic, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, you want the next topic? I don't know. All right. I got you to take care of. I'm out. Guys. Come on, come on. Oh, drop boy. a grenade and run. Go ahead. Do do something. I'm drop a grenade do, and do run. anything. Do anything. Just say something volatile. Do it for us. I know. I have faith that you can do. Soft, it. soft drink in that on on camera looked totally like Marco Rubio. <laughs> soft looking like they Marco Rubio. Are you serious? He, 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 no. He, he, <laughs> there is no resemblance to him. All right, you, you want a volatile Ca- uh, Caleb? Caleb, money Caleb. isn't real. Well, it's not. Oh, God. That's guaranteed to get spicy. It's not real. Why? Because it's, it's not. It's literally not. All right. No, you. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're not gonna upset Caleb with that one. Sorry. No, I. He, I literally set him off on talking in stations one time with that. Oh, okay. I'm taking that. All right, go ahead. Talk about yourself. Like, money. So the real question a... is: the real question is, if the players can figure out a way to make it, will CCP sell other players gold ammo? Yo, dear fucking Kayla. Uh... <laughs> but gold ammo is coming. It's going to be called. You, you shush uh, now. Okay, it, it's it's, it's, time to it's going to be called bus. all. It's going to be named there, all there all, ma- right. all matter all matter ammo. All matter. Like all things matter. Fuck fucking beat anybody who even mentions gold ammo yeah, no, within an picks, inch of their she fucking picks lives. Has it. You're you're wrong on that one, Caleb. Shoot pigs has it. It's matter ammo. S- matter ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Mon- Monkey is asking it's for all ammo. matter ammo. It's armor for titans, but. Um, Are the it... cat ears really something else? Yeah, Marley, I have no idea. No, I mean, can't you can't you just can't you just see an avatar with the cat ears po- poking up over the bulb? No, I, and I, I when it appears the doomsday, it's it going nah. <laughs> oh, the doomsday's God. meow now, right? <laughs> um, I mean, come on, dude. Imagine, hold on, hold on. Imagine if CCP were to sell the sound that your weapons make when they hit your enemy. I want my lasers to go like, pew pew pew. I know pew pew or or you know pew. pew. <laughs> uh, five five dollars for a month of pew pew pew. Well, if if CCP and actually you makes, you know why I'm, you, you know why I'm comfortable saying things like five dollars for a month worth of pew pew pew. CCP don't listen to their customers, <laughs> and so it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Right. I, I'm. I'm just going to say that if CCP makes the plush leopard uh, skin uh, for for the Megatron, I'm going to buy one for horrendous. No. Oh, no. No. You make the plush leopard skin for the leopard. What we uh, need plush. is like announcer packs to replace aura of all all popular Eve players. Guys, uh, Mappa has a great idea in Twitch chat. No matter what Gunner is, uh, he wants to gone. hear armor hacks. Um, so basically what we need is like every time a legion shoots a gun, it goes, armor hacks! <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, those, those guys in the back of their pickup, truck, pickup trucks, they've got the ball sacks that hang down from their uh, trailer hitches. You put those God, on, pl- put those on a couple boat or uh, ships. People buy those. Please too. don't give us battleship nuts. Like <laughs> Battleship <laughs> nut. Did you just, did you just name that, the that pack? Truck nuts. The, the name's got to be the name's got to be as catchy as truck nuts, so it's got to yep. be hack nuts. Hack nuts. <laughs> uh, Araya has a has a great one as well, which is that he wants his uh, auto cannons to say ratatatati. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <sighs> <sighs> that that one was just like <sighs> brilliant. I love it. And uh, <laughs> and it needs rainbow muzzle flashes. For your lasers? No, no, that's no, lasers. No, that's for the lasers. Yeah, yeah the lasers yeah, should all be all lasers are now rainbow. You can already rainbow the lasers. You no, 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 crystals yeah. in your... Each laser is rainbow. Yeah, e- each one goes. cycles. That's cycles the golden through. laser ammo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Does that come with a unicorn horn? I'm just asking for a friend. No, uh, that I mean, costs I... that costs a totally separate amount out of the New Eden store. Uh, I mean, well, well, like, just uh, set it in <laughs> get, getting a unicorn horn. Sure, is, I want uh, a megathon skin for the megathon. Unless... By the way, this is a lot. So more unicorn fun. horns are more expensive than than cat ears. I get you. Uh, unless well, unless it's an well, yeah, they're more rare. I already have my Hello Kitty Harbinger skin. Let's go. But you can buy a unicorn skin at the same time as you buy cat ears and, I don't know, some sort of, like, furry Hell tail. Yeah. Um, and in, instead of paying 20 bucks for each whoa, of whoa, them... Whoa, 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 Dirk. Y y you can, you can pay, you like, it. 35 for the, the pack. No, Dirk, And you, Dirk. Get, you get wearable apparel for, you, for your character of a fursuit. Dirk, oh, no, that's you, very you, I, think you, I think you just nailed it with a throwaway line in there. With the with the some sort of tail, think of the number of variations of tail they could do. I know, right? <laughs> we right would there. Have bee stingers on all our ships. If we See, swarm. we would. Be, we would be so much money. CCP <laughs> would just—they'd be printing it. Merck could finally, uh, you know. Really see Karma Fleet supporting <laughs> Fiesta Equestria or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's really why our uh, goons like the Ishtar so much because it kind of resembles a fat bee. I'm just um, <laughs> true, true. Um, you know, last week on the Meta Show, if you didn't see it, I mean, you know, Merc was in rare form. If you think we complain and bitch and yell and scream, holy shit, that Merc rant. From last yeah, that's not show. that's that's not the same that's not even on the in the same league when Merc rants like that i i don't know if he actually does some serious prepping but it sounds like a fucking sermon oh, it, it, it is so good. well written the the timestamp is like uh 36 45 or so is where you want to start that whole link i'm gonna see if i can find it or so i i gotta take the temperature of the room here so it is 15 minutes to Theoretical meta show start time. Do, yeah, does everybody should. want to keep going, or do we want to kind of wind down? I want you to keep going. You? Oh yeah, but you're not even going to be here. You're I'm not going to be here. You're going to play with your cats or something. I don't know. What you're doing. Actually, my cat is currently glaring at me. Because as long as we can, George. as long as we can find things to chat about, I'm good to keep going. Well, I'm all but... about making fun of CCP. But, and but we just we just ideas. established. Eric, we just established that if, if Arendus is going to go and play with his cat's tail, that's basically oh, product oh, oh, oh. development I be, research. I want to be clear. I did not say he was going to play with his cat's tail. I said he was going to go play with his cats. First off, well, I'm it, not actually playing with the cat because if I play with the cat, she'll be happy and that will that will ruin her, her <laughs> afternoon's activity of glaring at me. Um, <laughs> so I would not do that to my cat by entertaining her. Well, when you feed a killer, you, you you keep the killer. That's just the way the rules work, right? Yeah, but I don't have to feed her for another hour or so. so. We could we could totally do karaoke and we 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 could not do karaoke and say we did. You could stream Cards Against Humanity. Oh dear God, <laughs> Dick! No, not again. The way we play it, oh, yeah. um, you, could, you could stream. You could stream Cards Against Humanity with the full with the full array of goon packs, and like tell people in bad posters that you're gonna do it. Can I, um, can I okay, we, 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 we can't it. stream that. No, no, no. We could stream it, but not on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, no. we, we would not. Especially not on this channel. We. Would I've suggested this before, so rules very quickly. <laughs> Why, why is Words like Twitch fiddle sticks. named Twitch? I actually heard about that the other day. You did? And I forgot. I totally forgot. Why do we, we only invited you on the show to get that answer out of you, and, and, and here you go. Nothing. <laughs> Jeez. You have brought shame upon your family <laughs> for generations. <laughs> God. Twitch gaming, Cheat. which refers to fast action games that test reflexes. Twitch. Such as first person shooters. Twitchy. You know, twitchy. Twitch gaming. Like, you. your Twitch reflexes in, in Fortnite, Halo, Call of Duty. Shame on your mother. Shame on your cow. I don't really play. Shame on your cow. <laughs> 
I don't have it. Did someone sound clip that one? <laughs> I wish they if would. not, then they should. I, I want I my want guns to, to have that. exactly that exactly that sound clip. When somebody Shame says, Sue, I want the sound clip because I want to I want to put it on a button here so that every time somebody says something, somebody, shame on your cow. <laughs> or like when your ship explodes, it could be like, in my dying breath, I shame your cow. <laughs> For hate's sake, I shame my last cow at thee. Yeah, that's oh exactly God. what I was thinking, too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I found my talk. I'm not sure I can keep it together. Whoo! Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm even. I'm even reasonably sure. I'm even reasonably sure that Eric was hearing that in the same Ricardo Montalban voice that I was hearing it in. <laughs> oh, absolutely, I was. For hate's was... sake, I shame my last cow. I see. <laughs> oh my god! Do you remember? Um... Do you, Arendis, Do you remember? It's it's the old Saturday Night Live, like when Bill Murray was was on it, right? And he's being a game show host, and and one of the questions of the contestants were, oh, "Que que es más macho, Ricardo Montalban, convict steak, or Lorenzo Lamas?" And he said it like three times, and everybody's like, "I don't know what to answer." I remember that. Do you really? Oh, is <laughs> mas macho. Ricardo my name Mantaban is Montoya. Or Lorenzo father. Lamas. And the average is going to be He repeats it again. So, uh, Bard Ghost had something he was trying to bring up. What, what was that, Bard Ghost? Well, 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 which bit? I just said to Soph, I found my uh, Tarkov account. For the like the first time in years, your what account? <laughs> I actually forgot the login. Ah, um, and, and an Eve player rediscovering other games because they don't want to play Eve. What a shock! Oh, I mean, I've I've been playing Hearts of Iron Four and Stellaris all weekend already. So, oh, and last weekend and the weekend before. Yeah, I I don't really play Eve anymore. Go figure. Right. Do you want to play Eve? No, quite frankly, not anymore. They if have Eve... well and truly shit the bed and killed the game, in my if opinion. If Eve were a game where CCP were, where the developers were listening to the players and implementing what we were kind of outright asking for, would you still want to play Eve? If they were showing improvement, yeah. I, I'm, because I'm gonna... the foundation is a very good bloody game but what they keep implementing is fucking horrific like it's at the point and sorry this is what i was going to say earlier and um, dirk already knows this story because i put it in our bad posters chat but i've had friends that play games that have always refused to touch eve and have stayed away from it dm me this weekend going what the fuck is going on in eve what <laughs> the hell are they doing with images of this pack and they're just there like are they going full pay to win? They're in full disbelief, and it's just. By the way, by the way, they if can't that's the understand what want, the hell is going on. If that's the direction CCP wants to go, you know, get some balls right. and say it. Don't like, yeah. you know, oh, we don't want our people to quit who would would quit if we say that because oh, we we can't sustain the income in the game if that happens. We're just going to slowly push them over to the other direction, and we'll lose the ones, but. We'll have gained everybody we need to on the other side of the revenue. That, that's probably what they're doing. Okay, I, I gotta take off, but um, before I go, chapter 65. Okay, you're really quiet. Really quiet. What'd you do? So I don't know. Okay. What did I do? Now you're chapter fine. Chapter 65, you, you have put a terrible idea into my head, and I really hope it never gets inflicted on these people. <laughs> <sighs> doing an entire stream in iambic pentameter. No. Forsooth, no. what say our game? It yes, does, please. Yes, please, Arendis. Please do bad. it. Just do it. All right, you guys keep doing all that stuff. I'm going to go over here and watch Baywatch. All right. How <laughs> now, Horatio? It is the moon. Nay, it is the blessed sun. 
You should hey, have. Hey, you should no, recite no, no, that. Did nobody... she combine Hamlet and the Taming of the Shrew? You yes, know what? She you, did, you guys, and it you guys, was... you really, it, it's As much expected. more enjoyable in its original Klingon. So, um, I used to know a guy who could do that. I know a guy who can talk and speak Klingon. He used to play Eve. He got me into Eve, actually. I think he might have just come back and joined with Shadow State. The, the the worst thing about um Arceus commentary there is that I'm actually kind of confused. Would we get more views continuing to talk about the decline of Eve, or would we get more views for just like we a Shakespeare have... on Twitch? Hmm. Question the real question is, how would we do if we were talking about the decline of Eve in Shakespeare? In iambic pentameter. Whatever. Uh, I mean, after all, it, it is it is no, it is difficult. a it is a it is a classic Shakespearean tragedy, totally self inflicted. Yeah, that's very true. I think we but, should just like, you know speak in Latin the entire show, and we'd have just raving reviews. No, we could like rewrite uh, Macbeth so that like the prophecy foretells that like pay to win kills the game, and mm. then like instead of like the the woods coming to the castle, it's like. The microtransactions coming to the... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear God. Well, who are the three witches? <laughs> I mean, uh, if, if, you, if you really want to go all the way, I could just randomly switch to German in the middle of a sentence. What do you think? The CCP then, so then, then it would almost be on the path of being an opera. I mean, if, you're, if you switch to German, I'm switching to Japanese. Let's go. To monetize their game in such a way that it inevitably must suck ass. I mean, we so, could do an entire stream hold, like hold that. It. Were you were you doing? So, let let you, me get this right. You, so, hold yes. it. You, were you channeling Shatner when you said that? Because it sounded no, that was like Shatner. Shatner. <laughs> okay. I, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we've got Arendus doing a Shakespeare version. We've got uh, like, uh, Stoth, Stoth writing the the actual libretto uh, for an, a German song opera. Okay, first off, and, if I was and we've got a Shakespeare version. Everything would have to secretly be, or not so secretly, be a dick joke that nobody understands because accents have changed. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That that's called a feature. That's how that's how Shakespeare works. And 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 I got that. No, Asha is be doing a the Python episode on. CCP. Asha, if you if you do it in Japanese, will you do it as proper kabuki with the masks and everything? <laughs> no, I'm probably just gonna make a really shitty anime. That turns... yes, like not even a good anime. I it's was like hoping for really the white makeup one. and red lipstick, but okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey guys, hair all back up, little bun. I can't do a bun. I don't have enough hair. You you can have a wig. Yeah. Oh, samurai. Wow, did we get quiet? Done, done. Just overwhelmed hey, by you the idea of using samurai. No, nobody, like nobody the, has commented the, the, on the, my the Shakespeare. Nobody's commented on my new still. new glasses. See. Oh, you're yellow. They look you can very actually see the screen now. They look are those, very like, Edith. Those protective glasses for looking at screens all day. Yeah, they are because I do look at screens all day for my work and everything. But yeah, I didn't I, get I the... can tell because they're kind of like yellow tinted. Yeah, yeah, they're not the super yellow, but they're the light yellow. They, but they it's... look very Edith, Eric. Very good. They, I couldn't even with reading glasses, I couldn't read the screen because my brain was messing it up because this eye is so much different than this eye. My two eyes have such a difference in what I need to read. Um, that even reading glasses would make it look fuzzy. So it, it's just like, I can't believe night and day. I was so happy they came. So yeah, so Eric has to wear glasses from now on. Very sad. Yeah, as far as, far as Eve being paid to win historically, because um, there's some discussion of it in the, <laughs> in the chat, uh, I, I, would, I would point out that most wallet warriors in Eve historically have been the guys who decide that, oh yeah, purples are the thing. They'll make me invincible. And they go out and they lose $1,000 in a widow. Like on the Jiva on dock. And then, as, yeah, or or like in, in perimeter as soon as they come to the gate. And then they go and they get another one. So historically, Eve has been paid to lose. Because the people who've thrown the most money at it have had the least actual experience and understanding of what the hell they're doing. 
hmm. right up until CCB does things right. like they have been currently doing, which yes, drives exactly. the rest of us away and leaves them with only the people who will pay to do things. Yes. It, it, if people want to pay to have stuff, that's fine. But if the rest of us aren't around to punish that, then Eve has inherently become pay to win because you win by paying more money and nobody punishing you for it. Hello, Sarum Amar Adventures. No. That's just Sorry about that to the stream. That's uh that might be a yeah. strange Amazon Car meeting I just said I wasn't going to. Hello, Sarum Amar Adventures, <laughs> uh, a game about invading a planet with totally animal characters. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, you. if 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 you know what if if CCP would just bring back walking in stations, I think it would solve all the problems. <laughs> so oh, you, wow. you know, you know this conversation about it being by the way, to win, by the way, to win. You know, when they oh, made oh. the video about walking in stations, you know, dust on the planet and shit happening in space and it all intertwined. I get it never happened, but it was still a cool, cool, really cool video. idea. They, really they, 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 they were reaching for something that never came by, but it like, was the fact that they were reaching but, for yeah. it in itself was, it was incredible. Aspirational. You well, mean they had an ambition and a forward-looking plan that people could, could yeah. get on board with? There, yeah. there, was, there, there was nothing about that that players were not on board with. We all wanted no. to see that kind of thing. Even if I didn't yeah. play on half of it, right? I, I, right. The, the sheer integration of what they were doing was amazing, but they just made poor technical choices. And poor um, I, 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 I'm going to say they made poor business choices there. Uh, so, Dirk, I've well, got a serious yeah. question. The, the, the PS3 thing was a, was a business choice with Sony. Joe Mama well, is saying, Xbox in Twitch chat, Joe is saying in Twitch chat that CCP London is working on a first-person shooter. CCP London Indeed. has been working on a first-person shooter for the last four fucking years. Yeah. They, 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 they've reinvented. They started working on Dust. Well, yeah, no, well let's no, just be clear, right? First-person shooter. There is a four, demo in 2018 three, in Vegas. Three. Ah, nine, that one's dead, though, Arsene. Yeah, that one's Since totally they, dead. They, they demo it every four years. Yeah, oh, yeah. I London. remember playing like, it, and like we beat the. So Santa. we should be on track for one at FanFest this year. <laughs> so like I remember playing the demo in 2018 in Vegas, and mm -hmm. we beat we beat all the Sancha, and then we had to like run to the end to extract, and like after all the enemies are dead, I fell off a cliff because I am very good at that video game. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Managed I mean, to die when there's no enemies. I just want to. What did we had? We had dust. Followed by talk of one variant of Legion, which was supposed uh, to be open world. We, that we then died. Nova, then Project Legion. Then no, we had Legion, then Nova. Oh, then Legion, then Nova. oh wh yeah. whichever way it worked out. Yeah. But like, but there yeah, was we two have... variations of Legion. There was an open world looter shooter kind of thing that was being discussed, right. which rapidly died in favor of a closed arena one. We then that died. Then we had Nova. But Nova at that time was shown as a. Um, Nova is what was shown as uh, at Vegas. No, no, no. There was a early version of Nova that was different again, which was an on-station shooter fest, right? Yeah, which is what was Vegas. shown as Vegas. Was, was, no, that, no, no, no. was that the on-shooter no. one, or was that the one where you were on the out? Was where they were on the ex the outside on of inside a, of a maelstrom's hall. There was one that you were on the inside of a okay. ship or a structure fighting over control against players. And then you had the okay. second version of Nova, which was the PvE right. one that we saw at Vegas. You know you know a game they should make? And uh, Arend Arendus will appreciate this. Fedo Farmer? Not Fedo Farmer. Uh, <laughs> uh, a, a game taking place on Skarkon, where you play as Krill Ifrit. Fighting the Triglavians. <laughs> that was yes. incredibly RP, but I kind of see where you're coming from. But yes. you know what game they should, they should... totally do that. So it, it, the Triglavians it, 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 it nuked just, a mountain they could to just kill this guy. Doom. <laughs> it, it, here's a, here's a, a thing for you though. You know what game they should make? Yes, man. Eve, Eve Online. Eve Online. Huh? Yeah. I, no, I don't mind them never doing do an that. FPS. <laughs> I don't mind them doing an FPS, but they have to. 
I okay. mind them doing. They have to like... not put Rattati in charge. No, no, no I they're, mind they're... them doing an FPS. Eric, you don't yeah. understand. They've clearly given up on that one. Like I, I, I that game I... will never make them money. I, I, I mind them making it uh, an FPS in the same way as that I would mind them doing like an RTS or, or or whatever fucking game CCP has decided that they want to make this fucking year. Oh my god, On an the... RTS where you play as the Sancha. An, an RTS where you actually get a usable uh, planetary interaction. It is an RTS um, if you're an FC. Situation? <laughs> for, perhaps? Like, we could. Th th this uh... is the thing. I, 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 I want them to make good games. But how about they make a good game before they start talking about how much they're going to make a new good game? Ooh, yes. I'm sorry, that's what I was going to get to, right? They can I do don't Empire mind Builder. Oh. <laughs> they could do a Stellaris <laughs> clone, right? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they could, could do, do a Stellaris clone as if this game wouldn't be better than a Stellaris clone. I <laughs> just. No, I don't. So, I have no problem with spin off games as long as they keep focus on Eve as well. Right? I've seen so many studios that do this that go, right, we're spinning up a new team to do X project, but we're not touching the team doing Y project because that's our key game. You know, we're not going to kill our key game that's the central part of our IP to spin up another game that's supposed to be part of the IP. Because if we do that and do it wrong, we lose both. Wait, wait, I've got another one. I've got another one. Hmm. New Eden Jump Freighter Simulator. Oh, oh my God. that would be awesome. Uh, like, isn't that like just a Euro cookie? Trucker, like Euro Truck Simulator? Oh, but... God. Yes, Euro exactly. Ice Truckers. Oh, God. Ice Truckers. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere between Euro Truck Simulator and like all of the tr all of the, the the train simulators that let you. So like, it's like up. Euro Truck Simulator, except for the fun parts where you actually Can drive we... the truck. Yes. What? Was, oh God! There was an Tell old me game. That doesn't sound like a it was like a product. shipping game. Oh, <laughs> the shipping company. There was one like that where you didn't do anything with the ships; you just managed the port. FedEx. Yeah. Sim. It would be like that. That's the FedEx Sim, you know. Effectively, yeah. Yeah, or or I, the first 40 hours of any X game where you just sell sell shit until you can afford ships. So, so this yeah. whole thing is like, we'd love CCP to make a great game, but they need to make a great game before they can start talking about the next great game. Yeah. Well, you know? What do you mean the first 30 minutes? I think you mean the first 30 days. I think oh, said, they, uh, can they, can they really, hours. They yeah. can even compete. They could even compete with Goat Simulator. With Fedo Simulator, yeah, you're you're oh a Fedo. You, you're you're a Fedo. You're you're moving through a ship, eating all the crap. If, if that was oh, a game like... they developed in like, I don't know, two <laughs> months and sold for five dollars, I'd buy it. Again, this I is think, this is just like the monetization it. chat, right? They, they should have had someone. Sorry, Eric. They uh -huh. could have had someone in an office spin this shite up. In oh two months, God. and just sell it. There needs and to be my money. There needs to be something in Eve Online. It has a little mini game, but that mini game is just a recreation of Frogger. Cook Elkinchin has it. A game developer simulator. <laughs> oh my that already God. exists. That already exists. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, like. No, I mean, one. But I it mean doesn't simulate CCP. I mean, one that their customers can play, not one that they're playing. They should make a <laughs> VR uh, mind clash. But. You, you yeah, again, you have shit, to define like... mind clash first. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I wanted, like... just for the Eve lore. <laughs> you could do shit like an RTS that's like. um, Instead of having the, the now planetary interaction, right? So you could have a game within Eve. Well, you yeah, could that this stuff require into Eve, right? a bit more effort. Like creating sick. a separate it... game is, is is easier than creating a game within a game. I still yes, say, God if... <laughs> oh, damn it! Do you want an Eve RTS? Just become an FC. But, but um, your, your, your units have better GB's AI than dragoons in Starcraft Brood War, right? Here is the the really difficult thing to kind of like get your head around and we've all been struggling it, with it for a long time and kind of like telling CCP to get their heads on straight and just do this we've come up in the last four minutes something like that 
with something like a dozen ideas that we would all pay money for. Roger. And yet we get what CCP gives us, which is, hey, buy a Hi. retriever. Yeah. Hey, actually, buy a retriever that somebody else paid for by, um, you know, making it in-game and paying for the time that it took to make in-game. Buy a retriever that somebody else already paid for. You All see, right. and, you know, this, this is their monetization. Here, here's idea. the money. A visual novel where you play a spaceship going to a high school. Oh yes. God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why so, are you looking... Why are you looking at me like that, Harbinger Chan? Oh dear. <laughs> By the way, uh, because you deserve no, 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 to be no, looked no, at no, like no, that. No. Here's here's the title. To, to here's my, the title. And, I, I and, and hopefully, and hopefully, people will understand this. Project Eve Co. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I don't get it, horrendous. The, then you uh, have never been exposed to the amazing stupidity that is Project Echo. The the best no, part of that is that it broke Sothrasil. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I got one of my frogs across, so I'm good. Yeah. Oh dear. You see, you, you guys all missed it. I said it a minute ago. You should see what GB put in chat because that was um, yeah. Hey, a, a monkey, puzzle game, monkey. not Star Trek Armada. Uh, Starfleet Command, where get this, ready? You could be out there in New Eden, in space, flying a spaceship. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, didn't they make that horrendous? Hey, I, I, think, I believe I think, they aren't you developing it anymore. Get that boy off Fresca. I tried to burn that one down though. Before. Ah yes, Valkyrie, which was maintained by the studio, they sold off because they couldn't afford it, because they weren't yeah. focusing on their cash cow. And because they need to get the fuck out of Iceland. But but honestly, stuff like Valkyrie is the perfect way that they should have done it. Valkyrie with another great. studio. Yeah, but with I... another studio is how it should have been done, not the main mm, studio. No. No, I, I have to say, right, it, it, Valkyrie and um, Gunjack and Spark and all of their VR projects were spun up out of uh, a branch studio in Newcastle. They mm -hmm. have a it's couple of those VR games still under maintenance, as they, they put it. Uh, I, I think the maintenance may have been transferred to London, but I don't know for sure. But those games were a ton of quick fun, right? You could drop in and have a 20-minute session without ever thinking that it, it would be more than 20 minutes if you wanted it to be just 20 minutes. Which is okay. the, the kind of line of advertising that they took when they introduced Abyssal Space. They wanted to make an EVE game or, or part of EVE that could be engaged mm -hmm. with in 20 minutes. And Which is was, respectful. I'm not going to fault them that, for that. That, because, that was a, a, yeah. a fair goal. But they already had that with their VR stuff. And if they'd just kind of like adapted their VR stuff so that maybe we could play it without having to have a VR headset and buy into the VR kind of ecosystem. Not like, just it, that. It, it, but... It's a fun ecosystem, but it's also fucking expensive sometimes. Yeah. Um, I would say it, not it, just it that. It potentially but... would have been good. And had they sorry, God. Um, and, and had, had they, they spent the, the money that they could have been developing on Eve buying the studio in Newcastle and setting them up to make new games that they then didn't really have long term support for. Mm -hmm. So that there wasn't any development of sustainable income on either Eve or the VR stuff at the same time. They were just kind of spending money that they, they were getting as fast as they could make it, as far as I can tell. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I just figured it out. They are causing all of these shitstorms on purpose. Wag the dog. Because, as we already figured out, they don't have a lot of budget in their marketing. 
So any PR is good PR. So, so what you're telling us is yeah. that the players aren't manufacturing outrage in the same way as Brisk thinks. Uh, as have been, uh, like some players have accused uh, talk shows and uh, news sites and player blogs of manufacturing outrage. Uh, he referenced that in his tweet earlier today. But so what you're saying is that we aren't the ones manufacturing the outrage. CCP are the ones manufacturing the outrage on the basis that we will spend three and a bit hours talking about this shit and how stupid it is. And yes. Is that what you're saying, Soth? And between and then... Soth and Rochambeau, we have a new game proposal. But Community Outrage Simulator. The I real, love it. The real question is, why would you manufacture outrage when you can buy it in a pack for $25? <laughs> because well, she need, has, by the way, need, she has been waiting to... over three hours to use that, <laughs> that, that, that you, line. You need you need to get your players to manufacture the outrage so you can sell it in a pack for twenty five dollars. Oh yeah, um, like you you can't just like generate you can't, outrage yeah, you can't just out of thin air, right? Yeah. I, Do you know how I, much I just want work... everybody to know that during this stream, I bought ninety golf balls for the season, so I'm good. So what you're saying is golf is paid to 90. win. So 90, how many ninety balls? So, so why so why, Eric, why didn't you buy a hundred? Because it, so if, I, he if didn't I bought buy another pack, the players it would have didn't been, make a hundred of them. Yeah, it would have been. So, I would have been over a hundred if I ordered the next one. How many? Is it like golden ammo for 15. golf? Probably yeah. fifteen. Okay. Golden ammo for golf. Yes, they are yellow balls. That's, see, if you bought golden ammo. You paid right. away golf. Yellow golf balls. Casual. How how much? By the way, by you the way, by the way, that you golden ammo golf in balls. golf probably cost you sixty dollars a dozen. Like, and, and by the way, it, do it doesn't help. How much <laughs> snow are you expecting in Pittsburgh over the summer that you bought yellow golf balls? Um, they're they're just easier to see. Not when you're on a green that is actually green. Well, yeah, it's actually green. Trust me, they're they're just easier. The, the, to the, see. The, the, okay, okay. The green so, versus so, white on so, the contrast. All right, I'll so, catch you guys so, so let me explain it to you. Okay, lots of people use white golf balls, right? All right, and if there's four of them out in the fairway, fairly close together, you all have to pick up the golf ball and look for your own personal marking on the golf ball. I just have yellow that's golf fair. balls. Nobody else uses them. That one's mine. I'm good. What about now? now that's a fair point. I'm I'm just like the, it's, it's, the, yeah, that's the really the green reason. contrast. I feel like red would be a against a color green color. grass. They make uh, yeah. red bright orange, blue. Yeah. bright orange. They make pink ones. They make orange. Baby blue. I, I would they make baby oh, blue. orange or pink. Blue. I I could understand, but green. I I could see uh, orange or pink. Out, um... They even make ones that glow in the dark, but they don't really fly real well. Yeah, that that was my thing, right? Like green for summer play is uh, a decision. I if you'd said orange or pink, I wouldn't have questioned it. But like green for I didn't, summer I didn't play, I have green. I have yellow. Same difference. No, it isn't. It's yellow. The, 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 yellow the, the, is different than green. It it's, depends you know, how red, well red, the, blue, the green, green is. yellow. There are four distinct uh, colors uh, that make all the rest, uh, man. Are, are they actually yellow? See, this is where yeah, you're going to have to like link the golf balls that you picked because, like, that there's kind of like the green that is a, a light green that is sometimes described as yellow but isn't quite, and then there's like bright yellow. So yeah, you're going to have to link these. I think they're top flight XL distance yellow. They're cheap as shit, and I love them because I have a slow slow golf swing. So you know. Getting you know, pro I'm, ones I'm now don't help. Googling this. Yes, yes. I'll, say, I'll 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 link it to you. So, are you all avid sports people? No, we just like to make fun of Eric when he talks about golf. You see, I I know about sports. I back in high school, I played volleyball. The the sport for tall oh, people. Oh wow! I want to play basketball. <laughs> Right. Uh, the other sport for tall people. Here's a fun thing for you, Eric. I I can't visit that link 
because GDPR. They they are not GDPR compliant, and therefore I cannot visit that link. Yeah, Europe's data protection thing. Um, but yeah, um... Wait, what? I, I left and you were talking about... Uh, I think, I think it's hilarious that you are muted. I think um, it's probably for the best that you are muted. <laughs> probably the best that I was muted. <laughs> 26 pounds, 26 British pounds for a 15 pack of these yellow golf balls. Hey, 15.99 US, man. That's cheap as shit. Oh, so the the UK is getting gouged is what you're saying. Well, I mean, well, no, that the dollar's worth you less have than to the pound. You have to yeah, import. That doesn't surprise me. You have to import those golf balls. No, they can get them. But yeah, uh the, the fact Hold that it, I you can go, go with the ready for this website. The the Max Fly Tour Gloss White Golf Balls 48 pack, $104. Or the Titleist Pro V1, $57 for 12. Which to talk. We by the way, by the way, these so are little about Evo hold on, hold on, it gets better. We're talking about golf. They're they're um, uh they're $15.99 if you buy them individually. They are two for $25 US. Two balls for twenty five US I mean, dollars. We can talk about Evo Lane. Thirty balls for twenty five dollars. I was really happy with accidentally getting a red mac kill going back to Vitraz last night. By the way, there are Titleist uh, Velocity green golf balls if you want them double zero. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm just surprised that people are still playing or the strict ships online. You know, you know, white and yellow spaceships combined. are still out in space in Eve Online. Yeah, there's, there's, some a, of them. there's a golf I was ball out in last space, night. right? There's one golf and ball, and I shot other spaceships that were out in space. And I want spaceships to be keep being out in space, so I say words when I see things that I think stop them from being out in space. Like every decision CCP has made in the last few years. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out should I, um, you know, do the whole DoorDash, order a little Dairy Queen, you know, ice cream, and should I tell the rest of the family or should I just have it delivered for me? That's what I Never want. not order food. Um, you should get it for your whole family. You should get it for yourself and uh, wait until they ask about it. You should get your family food. I I always ask my my spouse when I'm ordering food. Well, you know, let's let's review here. My my wife and daughter went to Burger King today on their way home from their little cheerleading competition. Did they bring food for the their husband and son? And so just because and they dad? did a wrong doesn't mean you should do a wrong too. I know, but it really it really is hard to just be generous when somebody has it, just so blatantly you know, got, you know, some flame broiled whoppers and didn't share them with you. I mean, don't you think that's wrong of them? I mean, they need uh, to yeah, be punished. They should, they, should have, they should have called and, and asked you. Right. But, and denying them ice cream just seems perfect. It, it, it's, a, it's a reasonable response in terms of the fact that, hey, uh, they, they did this thing that you yeah. didn't appreciate and now you're going to do a thing that they don't appreciate potentially mm -hmm. and um i mean like it doesn't hurt anybody my son you know er eric is buying ice cream for himself and it, it, it's not like it hurt his uh, I, I... his spouse or whatever um in in the same way as them not getting him burger king you know kind of I mean, didn't hurt eric but it didn't help him either i invited huh? them all to go to top golf with us and have dinner but it was just me and the boys the girls decided not to go now, what did Eric do? Of course, he brought the injectable donuts home for the girls. Okay. So what I mean by injectable donuts, everybody know what donut holes are? Yeah. Right? The little round donuts, right? 
at Top Golf, they have them and they sell you, well, they sell with them. Pick what you want. Little syringes. Okay, donut syringes. And you can have like cream or chocolate or raspberry or vanilla cream, whatever. And you just go fill them with whatever you want and you eat them. Did I bring those donuts home for the girls last night? Absolutely. What did it get me? Did it get me any Burger King today with it? No. See, I did the right thing. They did not. And I feel I feel I I, I was just ripped off and I'm mad. See, yeah, you, you should you should get your ice cream and uh you should order it just for your yourself. Um by the way, I would never do that. I I would always text them and say, Hey, what is it? Like if if they I want just, ice I'm cream, just being they can order it themselves as well. That's you know? true, they could, but it would cost me another delivery fee. Now, see, here's what'll happen though. I bet you my wife will offer to go pick it up. She's nice. Delivery yeah. is the way. I know. You got really lucky though then, huh? <laughs> Dude, I have like the greatest wife. Okay. I have buddies that we're we're on the top of golf. I have buddies I golf with and they say, I come here to get away from my wife. My wife don't they, they say, Don't ever tell my wife that it takes less than six or seven hours to play a round of golf. Because you, you play around <laughs> the golf in like four hours, and then they want two or three hours to hang out and drink beer with their buddies. And they're like, I do this to get away from my wife. And I'm sitting there going, I want my wife to golf with me. <laughs> she won't, by the way. She won't golf with me. She doesn't like golf. But, uh, but I'm like, really? You guys do this to get away from your wives? Yeah, that's not why I do this. I do this to hang out with you. And my wife just says, go have fun with your friends, right? Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's just wild. I laugh at some people. It's like, why did you get married if all you're doing is yeah, trying to get away from I life? don't understand people who don't like their spouse. Like, there's a lot of, like, like really old old jokes. Like, oh, my God, spouse bad. And I'm like, why did you marry that? <laughs> right? Now, I will tell you, Mrs. Eric, and I make up fun things to, to be mad about. Like, we, we, like, tease each other. Like, I can't believe you do that. Right? And, and we, do do the, we, we do complain about each other to each other. But it's all fun and games. Um, I mean, well, there's definitely like a thing where like sometimes you want alone time, but that's not so much getting away from your spouse unless your spouse doesn't let you get alone, in which case you still have a problem. See, we can sit in the same room and do different things and be alone, right? We can be in the same house and whatever, not be around, around each other, right? And by the way, if I want to go golf and hang out with my buddies, my wife is like, go have fun with your buddies. And she yeah. knows it takes four hours, and she knows I might not be back for six or seven. And it's okay. And by the way, if she told me she wanted to do something and wanted me back on time, I'd, I'd just come back. It, I don't understand why it's so hard, but I, I guess I'm just lucky in who I marry, right? I married the right girl. So. Um, uh, I wouldn't say you're necessarily lucky, but you made the right decision in that. Like, relationships, I don't know, they're, they're tricky a little bit having the right person that compliments you rather than somebody that you like but doesn't work on a day-to-day -day level and that that's kind of difficult to manage and that's kind of where you end up with yeah when it comes to things like hey I'm, I'm gonna go away for like five hours to go play golf and have a couple beers yeah oh you know? and then she goes out shopping all day right because she loves to shop and then she resells it all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, you'll you'll have some people who would say, okay, they're going out to shop. I resent that, rather than like considering that as the she equivalent shops. of going out to golf for five hours or whatever, you know? Like, I, I go golfing, she goes shopping. That's or just kind of how we or do I things. do this show, right? I'm hanging out with you guys all the time, not hanging out with her. You know? Yeah. I think she did a couple things today. Mainly with the kids, so she was kind of working, so... You know, no, nobody's, I gotta nobody's make sure trying to she, give relationship to advice. Sure We're just saying it. that's kind of how it should be. I know, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I want. I definitely want some ice cream. I just want ice cream. I don't even want dinner. I want ice cream. It's terrible. Get ice cream then. Just, just get the ice cream, Eric. Yeah, I, I text her. 
A little car is zipping by. Well, we didn't lose. Uh, we did go on battery power just briefly for a little clip, but it doesn't tend to really last power. So we do have it set up here that if we lose power, we go to battery, we keep doing the show, and then the generator kicks in. Oh, you want Marley. another Merc rant, <laughs> Marley? I, I want another Merc rant too. I mean, I mean, I was like, I got like Merc was pumping up, was pumped up. I mean, he was really going uh, last Meta show, and I'm just sitting there like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like you're. Watching I'm. I'm not sure that would be healthy for Merc. You know, no meta um, show today. So you have the reserve windy place kick holder show push to talk that has been <laughs> on here in marathon marathon effort here since one o'clock p.m. U.S. Eastern Daylight Time. Yeah, like but, if you if you look at Merck's rant from last weekend, you can see his face kind of slowly turn red as he gets more and more angry. And I, I had one of those moments earlier on today with uh, something moment, Caleb said that I one. responded to. Like, yeah, no, the, the only time where I thought I was actually potentially going to burst a blood vessel in my brain or something was was when I, uh, Caleb was... Uh, I, I, I don't even remember what it was specifically, but I, I was very annoyed. That sort of thing is, is big. You, you don't want to do it too, too often. Um, because that is unhealthy as fuck. And having that sort of reaction to something that you're doing for fun, a, a video game, uh, even, even if it's on a show like this, having that kind of reaction to a video game, that's not healthy. That's not That's where, good I mean, for us as people. It's not good for us as players. It's just generally like I I think that we, we shouldn't have we, we shouldn't feel like we need to burst a blood vessel in our fucking heads. I really think we should start dealing with CCP the way engaging with us. was talking about you know NFTs and things like that, right? Um, you know, you just laugh at the people with the stupidity that think that those things are really real, right? And by the way, when that guy was making fifteen hundred dollars, you know, doing you know, pay to earn, play to earn, on that one game that I have no clue what it is. It looks like it looks. I mean, it looked like bad Pokemon cards. Um, and uh, he was making fifteen hundred dollars. Those are those are all, you know, NFTs. I, mean, I think that the only NFTs that Eve needs are nice fucking tornadoes. Am I right? Tornadoes. <laughs> I love tornadoes. Such a cool ship. That in the original Caldari carrier. This new freaking fax thing that they made it into is shitty. Looked cool before. Anyway. Somebody still hasn't looked at her texts. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I suppose at this point we've been live for three and a half hours or so. Um, we we've all vented our frustrations. I think pretty clearly. Is there anything else that we want to? Nope. From now on, we're just making fun of CCP about? when they do stupid things and laugh at how stupid they are. That's that's the, that's the thing. That's what Mitten said to do about the other thing. I like I like doing that about CCP. And CCP Hillmar is now CCP chair. We'll, yeah, we'll the, no, him. no, whoa, okay. whoa. C CCP chair is far more appreciated than CCP Hillmar. <laughs> Let's not. Is there actually a CCP chair? Because I, I was making like. Yes. Um, okay. There, there is a CCP chair in the same way as there is a CCP table and a CCP lamp. Okay. And a CCP um, plant. And a CCP mm. plant. They, 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 they do exist. They are. Items like there, there is there is an actual to? there's an actual chair at CCP that is the CCP chair. Yeah, we we, we don't. That's sad. They're, they're not people, but we we do have CCP chair and CCP plant and CCP hey, table and whatever else. What's the condition of the monument in Reykjavik? Last I heard, uh, it was in pretty shitty shape, and and all the plates were coming off of it. I didn't um, hear about that. 
Uh, okay, so I, I want to do a quick roundup. Mepa is saying that we could give them a tiny bit of slack because they back down and are taking the CSM with the decisions. Um, and Mepa also says that we won the first round, but the fight isn't over. Okay, here's my response. Um, ready? Hold so, it. Ready? So, ready? So... Ready? ready? <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh. I just need to... <laughs> yeah, um... We, we we won this round and lost the war at the same time yeah. because CCP aren't backing down on this. CCP are going to monetize the way CCP are mo going to monetize. We won this round and the CSM managed to win a, a huge thing because the yeah. CSM have quarterly meetings with uh, the marketing guys now, I, I think, Arcea. Is that right? They don't have a marketing budget. How do they have a marketing team to meet with? Yeah, in the statement that was put out, uh, by Swift yesterday, they they talked about how CSM would be getting quarterly meetings with the marketing team. Yeah. So so that was a win for the CSM, but the way it was included into a lot of the other phrasing, we've lost. Um, yeah, sure, we we're we're in the last trench a, a little bit. Some of us are still going to com continue to fight here, but. If there is a single point that we can mark as we have lost the game that we used to know, it's right now. Sorry, guys, but that's kind of the the way it is. Will they involve the CSM in the same way that they involved the CSM in the economy changes? Because... I mean, saying that the CSM will be involved could just be like, yeah, here are the packs that we're going to release tomorrow. Oh. They're actually going to tell the CSM instead of releasing them and the CSM learn by player feedback. That's uh, an improvement, but it's very slight. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I want to share, Garcia, the response from my lovely wife to my text, which stated, I want ice cream. Do you want some? Your daughter and I had ice cream cones for lunch at Burger King. So I don't want <laughs> any ice cream. You, uh... <laughs> so, so they didn't even offer you ice cream when they had ice cream. No, they get Burger King. They got ice cream at Burger King, which is probably pretty crappy, but still, they had it. That was... I take everything back nice that I said about my wife in this show. Just taking it all back. Yeah, the Burger King ice cream really tipped those scales. It does, it does. It's... But if, ice cream, you, if yeah. you ever wanted proof that Burger King is better than McDonald's, their ice cream machine's not broken. There right? you go. I once, you know, I, I'm a big Shamrock Shake fan, and um, the probably the second Shamrock Shake that I got this year was completely not frozen at all. It's like they had just poured the stuff in it, just started to get a little chilly, and it, it was just water, watery. What do you want to have the shamrock shakes out of the, the minty company? one? What 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 company does McDonald's. is that McDonald's? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, see, it, yeah. really, if you want shakes, you go to Chick Fil. I, I I never go to McDonald's. I have such a low opinion of McDonald's. There's like nothing I can eat at McDonald's. The the chicken nuggets at Burger King suck. They're way worse than McDonald's. But regardless, they had ice cream too. I like Burger King because they have the Impossible Whopper. We do, yeah. Well, you know, you know, I'm a meat eater, carnivore, so you know, I don't do the impossible. <laughs> the um, what is it? We we do have a running joke. I will walk up to my wife and I say, you know, you're the worst wife I've ever had, and she she looks at me. She goes, I'm also the best wife you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been married once. That's how that works, guys. Actually, this is our 25th anniversary this year in August. How about that? Congratulations. You you are putting in time and effort there. Congrats. <laughs> I I I don't know where the I don't know where the time went. I mean, it was like we were just married yesterday. Like twenty five years, where'd they come? Like two and a half decades, man. 
I've been married about five years. Five years? Me. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't know where that five years went, do you? It's like... Time Time just goes by so much faster than it used to. Like, uh, I think we're all feeling that. And the pandemic and everything didn't it doesn't help. help. No. Any little like, rugrats? Yeah. Can I ask? Am I allowed to ask? Rugrats? I, don't, I'm, I can't afford kids. I, I, we get to have we get to have a life or like like enjoy our lives or have kids we're gonna enjoy our lives like sorry <laughs> you don't know how true that statement is i mean i'm mean, just telling you i mean the kids are great i mean i have <laughs> that's three. not your kids okay. that's they're expensive and we don't make a lot of money we live in new york we have expenses right <laughs> there's other less enjoyable things about children like don't do that i'm not doing that as you watch them do that That's okay. I have a 21-year-old and 18-year-old, and neither one can drive yet. I'm 34 and, and don't have a car license, if it makes you feel but better. But you live in New York. In I have a city. motorcycle license. You have a motorcycle license? Oh, yes. man, you're like a hellraiser. Holy crap. I don't have a motorcycle anymore, but I used to. But you have the license. I you still have uh, the license, yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. Uh, it's you not would, a car you license. Would, you would get I along, can't rent a car. You would get along with Mrs. Eric for a while. She kind of likes... Or liked when she was younger, motorcycle. It was just, it was cheap transportation, right? It's a lot cheaper than a car. It that, is. That's a, a big part of it. And, and they're also more fun. Jesus Christ, bikes are just so much more fun. Than so I crashed are. in 2016, right? Every, so, every single yeah, person who has a bike you and or ben has had a bike has right. crashed. Every, so, everybody. So, who can't confirm. Crashed. Yeah. But, I I was all right because I was wearing head to toe gear because mm. yeah, I'm mm -hmm. smart, <laughs> right? But, but yeah, like if you're on a bike, at some point you're gonna crash. That's just kind of a thing you have to accept and deal with in the whole "I'm gonna be a biker" kind of decision yeah. process. Um, but yeah, like uh, the worst part about expensive. the crash was the the ambulance bill. Oh yeah, because you have that. A, you have an ambulance bill. B, you had to get an ambulance. Yeah, and wow. like after, right after I crash, and like my my leg is like completely torn open. Like I'm not gonna like think to. Oh no, I actually have to call an Uber, right? Uber's like, not gonna take. Thank Thankfully, my my bike crashes have all been small enough that I or. or yeah, um, they've been uh, potentially not crashes necessarily, but they've been small enough that I could get up and walk away with the bike still intact. Yeah, you know, when I, I crashed, I... Um, it was like oily road because someone had ripped open their car oh. just prior. Black ice just... was the thing for me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I just I just slipped, and um, I was going like fifty kilometers an hour. At that you, point, you, you get pretty scraped up, but you're not like no, I was I was needing medical gear. attention, kind of thing. Like, like I I got up, I, I looked myself once over, and I was like, man, this was almost fun. And uh, I actually met the guy who had ripped open his car um, when I went to the gas station, like two hundred meters on. Um, he was there with his like car completely wrecked. Because um, he went, um, there was a roundabout, and he went over the roundabout instead of around mm. it. So he ripped open everything. Uh, yeah. Jesus. No, yeah. thank you. My mother took her uh, oil pan off the bottom of her Mercedes, too. You know how you go into parking places and they'll have little cement things in front so your wheels don't go forward? Yeah, she decided to drive over those and go straight. But, uh, it like honestly was a lot of fun. Like, I'm not a motorcycle guy. I have cool. been on a motorcycle once. I was four with my dad in the. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, but it's a lot of fun. He let me drive, and that was the day he sold the bike. The guy who bought it you, you, wrecked it a week later. You you have to kind of lean in to the the fun of it. You you you've kind of got to grasp that little bit of fear. To, hey, you are open to the elements with no, no kind of compensation. You know, if a I mean, car crashes, you've got cause... crumple zones and stuff. 
It's mostly well, scary like, because you can't. It's you, but you have to kind of grasp that idea that you are in control. You're in it, control it of also... you. It's just like the other people that are scary. Yeah, the, the other people are the more scary part, for sure. But it's a ton of fun because you're in control. You you can make the decisions and kind of go places that cars really can't. It, it's also, it, it depends a lot of um, what kind of driver you are and where you are driving. Like, I, I live, like, in the middle of nowhere, right? And I'm a I'm a pretty passive driver, so... Probably a bit bit safer than someone who you know is a speed freak who drives like in a huge city. I mean, how fast can you go in a huge city? Well, that I mean, just I'm not even on like a highway. So... You you can go pretty fast in a big city <laughs> if you want to push it. You, you know, it, like it's just a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do it. <laughs> Like, when I crashed, I wasn't going that fast. I, it was like 30, 30 miles an hour, I think. Doesn't take much. Yeah. I mean, if it was much faster, it would have, it could have been really bad, I think. Thankfully, I was, like, not speeding, right? I like my car big, giant, wrapped around me. I'm good. On the road. I, I, I'd, I'd rather have the... I'll, I'll take the subway. <laughs> or a bus. Um, I mean, like, the, the subway or whatever is great, but if I have to be in charge of a vehicle, I'd rather have the, the more agile thing that I can make decisions about pretty quickly than the thing that's wrapped around me. Dirk, let's be, let's be honest. You really drive a Vespa. Vespa's are cool. For Dirk. I have never ridden a Vespa in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about there. I like how you're really quiet for a while. Like, how do I respond to that? Where's Eric getting that? Like, he made it up. Yeah, I mean, I, I've I've never owned a super bike. Um, what is it? What is, what is that movie? What is that movie? There's a lot the wedding of, like, singer, real... right? The the dude drives a Vespa around. There's a lot of like really cool, uh, like small road vehicles that are not quite bikes, but kind of like if you if you've ever been to like Japan or so something, and I think a lot of them are like really cool, like they're really small road vehicles that like aren't quite bikes, but they're not definitely not like cars. Well, yeah, like I, I've never owned a soup bike, and I've never done the the scooter lifestyle, which is kind scooter. of what I associate with Vesta with scooter. Vespas, like. The, the, the scooter kind of style. Uh, I've ne I've never done that, but yeah, uh, bikes hardcore are... scooter gang, right? <laughs> I had a super bike, and then I switched over to a big BMW. Yeah, G GB has it right. If you're getting into things, don't buy a what, what he refers to as a crotch rocket. That that's a very good point. Those you, are very comfortable over start long out... distances, aren't they? You should start out at like a like 175 cc or something kind of bike and kind of build up from that just to get the experience uh that was that was about where i was before i moved for uni and then stopped kind of like having a personal vehicle but yeah it, it, it it's a ton of fun it is a ton of fun Okay, uh, someone wants me to pronounce BMW in the correct way. BMV. Why is BMW BMV? Is that just how you say it in German? Or... That's how you say it in German, yeah. Yeah. And, British Motor uh, Works. Uh, as we all know, um, the Germans are wrong, so that's fine. Beamer. What we say. The fun part is that, um, you know, the, the thing about um, BMW drivers not having indicators? What do you mean indicators? They, they don't have indicators. Turn signals? Yeah. Like... Uh, we have the same saying in Germany, so it must be something with the cars. 
Uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure we know BMW is a German brand. <laughs> That's why the angry German is telling us how to pronounce it. <laughs> but, but again, like BM, BMW drivers don't have what's an indicator? What's an indicator? Um, a turn signal, probably. Turn signal? Right? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh they they indicate which way you're gonna go. Eric. Um turn signal. Good luck, everybody else. Just turns. But, but also yeah, are, um, those are yellow in Europe, not red. Yeah, brake signals are red in Europe. <laughs> I mean, you know. Why wouldn't they be? And also, like, indicators are more of an orange than a yellow sort. Uh, yeah. Our turn signals are yellow, right? No, in America you have a lot of... Uh, I think brake lights combined. are red. Uh, you know, it might be just a dimmer brake light. No, no. I can remember. No, um, in America you have a lot of cars that have combined brake and turn yeah. signal. Yeah, and, they're just a dimmer red. red. Dimmer red. Yeah. The four ways um, are the yellow orange things. Yeah, we we, we have actual differentiated kind of lights for those. So the lights are in different positions for a, a, a turn signal and indicator versus a, a brake light. And then we also tend to have um, we have the quote unquote emergency lights, which actually adds a second light to the brake lights so that and it flashes so that people know hey that this is a different thing than just us braking i was just joked about how that was oh they're signaling that they're going both ways because <laughs> it's just like both both turn signals are flashing yeah that, and when, a, when, really when we have an emergency old. thing the, the the indicators don't show up it's just the brake lights with that's another light generally and this is a really old skit from uh, a kids show um, where they are like explaining what the turn signals do on a car. Um, mm -hmm. Where you're saying like it's 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 indicating left, it's going left, indicating right, going right, and then uh, they turn the, the the warning signal on, and the car splits in half and goes both ways. <laughs> also, that just happened. What was that? Uh, uh I, I knocked my uh water bottle down. Oh, that wasn't the cat. I was expecting it to be the cat. Nope, not the cat. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call it in ten minutes because it'll be five o'clock. It'll be the end of the yeah. meta show. Or we can call it now. We can do one last thing for those who survived. Yeah, I mean let's okay. let's do let's one start, last thing. Let's start with McLeod because he is at the bottom. I think he's sleeping. I mean, I'm I'm still in the battleship remote rep battleship. Brawl fleet at the moment, and it's kind of crazy. Cool. Where is that um, happening, McLeod? Oh shit! Right. Uh, it's happening in oh shit right now in. And, and, and what is the whole thing about this battleship brawl? Uh, it's basically a, just a massive free for all battle battleship brawl. Uh, and like you know, we're going to be donating a whole bunch of plex to the uh, plex for good. Thing. Nice, nice. So, so turning up to the battleship brawl would be supporting. Uh, the real life humanitarian crisis in Ukraine, right? Yes, yes, it would. So, so people who turned up to OSHA right now with a a ship of some size, preferably a battleship, would be, you know, doing their part a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. I, uh, I mean, there's a lot of fleets going on, so, you know, but it's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, and we're basically staying until every single one of our ships are dead. Everybody's coming in wanting ice cream, just so you know, because I texted them all. Well, make them go get ice cream. And None of them can drive, for you. okay? The closest one to being able to drive is the 12-year-old. Let's be clear. She'll have her license before the others. And a Tesla, because that's what she wants to drive. Wow, that's expensive. I know. She, I told her, you know, I said, I told her she's going to need a very special husband. She's, she's, a. Uh, she'll be a challenge. Um, there, there was a question in Twitch chat that I don't actually know the answer to. 
mm. which is how long is this plex for good um ukraine situation going to go on for um i i think realistically it's going to go on for as long as the the current conflict is going on i don't i don't it's think it's war not a conflict uh Oh wait, actually, it, it, that there is a, a big thing. Um, CCP have stated that the campaign is active uh, and will run until uh, midnight on Tuesday, March twenty second. Um, whether or not they extend that, I would possibly expect them to extend it in light of what is going on currently. But um, it, it will, at the very minimum, run for another three days or so. I, I did a quick Google. Um, but it's a very good cause. It is a humanitarian atrocity. I, I don't think anybody would argue that on the panel. And uh, if you can donate, you should donate. By the way, Monkey, it's only a special operation if you're a Soviet, just to be clear. Did that you was, see all uh, the photoshopped uh, movies and books with like uh, Tolstoy's special operations and peace, or like oh Star my. Special Operations? No, 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 no. It's not special operations and peace. It's special operations and special operations. Good point. So that was a hell of a sidetrack on the one last thing. Um, do we want to move on to the next thing? Sure, Smug, you're up. Soth, go. Right, you guys wanted something positive about Eve. So, uh, tomorrow we're going to be streaming Eve on this channel. We're going to be having the first Anger Games opens at 1700 till 1900 UTC, right here on INN. Wow. Look at him, be smiling, right? Earlier in the show, somebody asked, when, when, when is Soth going to smile, right? And I wanted, I didn't get a chance. I was going to say, he's like, he's just channeling Gurney Halleck. I am smiling. But uh, no, he's actually smiling now, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic. Not he, so he does angry that as we were led to believe, is he? <laughs> All right, Dirk, one last thing. Um, I, I suppose my one last thing we've talked about a lot of topics today but my one last thing has to be congratulating um the newest member of the community team on their new job um ccp zealous otherwise known uh, uh zealous i'm not sure how to say that um i, I think it might be zealous rather than uh, zealous zealous or, or zealous e e either way um it's a person otherwise known as General Stargazer, um, who is a massive community contributor, previously done a ton of stuff with EVE NT. Um, they are going to be primarily focused on tournament stuff as well as doing the usual community team things. And I, I have to give them props. They, they started their job on Monday, which means they basically started by being thrown into the fire of community outrage but yeah he's a, he's a great guy and i i wish him very well in his new role as a ccp community developer fantastic marcia uh if you want to hear something good about eve it's that it has all of your smiling faces in it oh all right, I don't know whether to kill her or like her, guys. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to thank uh, Arcia. You're welcome anytime, as always, uh, and everybody else who was on the show, and everybody who watched the show for this marathon uh, time that we were watching it. We really appreciate you. There is no meta show, obviously, because we're here. By the way, my children are texting their ice cream orders. You can hear it in the background, I'm sure, coming through. And, uh, and I really, I really don't have a one last thing other than, you know, I'm just going to just start laughing at CCP's dumb things from now on. And that's, that's just the way it is. They're just being dumb. So, Hey, everybody have a wonderful weekend.
um and you have one last day in it and uh you know tune in next week for more adventures in golf and and we'll we'll give you some very riveting adventures we'll see you play. next time we're gonna be playing Cheers, guys yeah electronic golf later bye <laughs> okay.